Hey guys, it's Miss Southern Belle. How's everybody doing? I got a thumbs up. So, okay, thanks for the thumbs up. Appreciate you for that. And I'm here. I was, let's see. And I got everybody on this phone tonight. I tell you what, it's crazy in here. Crazy. Anyway, I'm here. You are there. Hey, so here we are. Yeah, I finally came up. And so as you can see, I hung those things up I got from the three nerds. As you can see behind me, if you can see it. Well, hey, Chuck, how do you always catch up on? Me? I'm going to do some uh, testing today. I'm going to I'm going to test some more pencils. You know, I like to do those tests. I'm going to test these pencils. And I think I got these from Five Below, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, they look pretty interesting. Hey, Art Passion for Pencils. Stella, how you doing? So, um, what y'all up to tonight? I got a handful going on over here. I got, like, the mess of all. I'm going to do some different kinds of color. And I'm going to do the children's book. But it's a Barbie. And it's the Barbie Advanced Color Book. And I think I've done a flip through here. This is also the ones that can be ripped out. i bent. So, hey, Cher. So I've got this Barbie. And this is one of Cher's favorites. She likes the children's books. So, how you doing? So I'm going to do the first one, 1959, Barbie. Well, how about if I do a flip through? I don't even know if I've done a flip through a Barbie. So that's what we'll do first. All these all these books are children's, and these, these come from five below, this Barbie does. And they do tear out, so if I'm not mistaken, his books do, do a tear. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be right. Yeah, they do. These tear out. So you can tear them out. If you want to have a Barbie weekend with your kids. Hey, Sherry Colors. How you doing? Hey, Linda. How you doing? Oh, I'm going to make you guys a mod. So y'all can connect everybody. Plus, it'll protect you if somebody is a mod. So, um, Sherry's Color. Let me look you up first real quick. I think I know you. I don't know you, but you look good. So I'll subscribe to you too while I'm in here. So I'm going to make you a mod. So you can connect everybody. And the channel. Plus I've already connected to you. So. And you're just a regular mod. I'm not worried about it. Everybody in my channel is a mod anyway. So here we go. There's Barbie 1959. What I do is I basically do people who have kids, children, grandkids. And the reason I do these coloring books is to help the grandparents find the ones that meet their pocketbook. This one cost me actually five bucks. Yeah, the this advanced Barbie cost me five bucks. But I have some that only cost me a dollar that are pretty good too. What little girl doesn't like Barbie? Can you tell me? I would like to know. Well, there's some of my life sports. Yeah. I'm sorry you don't like Barbie. I don't I don't mind her, but I just like to everybody, you know, does different. I don't really care for Barbie. I know she is a hottie. Well, Minnie don't like her either. Minnie, she's in the other room with her press nails on. She she, uh, here's Barbie as a nurse, Barbie as a firewoman. So she's not too bad. She's rescuing people. We could do a positive one. Barbie, there's Barbies of all kinds. There's, hey, Scott, this life of mine, how you doing? Here's her reaching the stars. Here's Barbie looking good. I don't like her because she's always pretty. I wish she had a blemish on her face. I think we could make her look different. But I don't know. Is that what we really want to do? Do we want to change Barbie? Barbie, 
the rockers, you know. Yeah. I don't know what this is. This is all over the place. She's just a pretty woman. Now, you know, Barbie can be an African-American. You know, Barbie don't have to be white. She can be black or Chinese. You make her what color you want to make her, too. I have known to do that. Look at that one. I just wish I had that body. But you know what? We're all Barbies in our own way. Making it happen. Now, she's political in this one, guys. Here she is. She's got that stars. <gasps> Oh, she is black and white, guys. So there are two sides of Barbie. Okay, I'm going to just go with the first one. 1959. Everybody connect to each other, get to know each other. Do you want me to try something else? Well, I don't have to color in Barbie. I don't want to upset somebody that don't like Barbie, so we'll skip Barbie. I can do Barbie another time. I have, I've got this one. How about this one? Now, this is an Easter coloring book I got today at the Dollar Tree because I had to go. And this one is not by the same person. This one was a dollar. So this is for you art passion pencils. Now, I'm going to color, and I think this one's also you can rip out. Let's see if you can rip this one out. Oh, yeah, you can rip this one out. Okay. And this, is, this one has a story. It says, every year before Easter, the Easter bunny goes throughout the bunny land gathering eggs for Easter. How many eggs shapes can you find in this picture? Oh, Lord. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to do any activities, but I will do a coloring. Okay, I'm going to do a coloring on one of these, so we ain't going to be, oh, we got crazy last time. <laughs> okay, crazy last time. Let's color this one. I'll go ahead and take it out. Since he's the first bunny. Oh, there he is, all happy and cute. And this is the pencils. I also got these from Five Below. These were $5. So we're going to take out that pencil sharpener because we know y'all don't want to hear that pencil sharpener. And I'll show you all the colors. We got these. And <laughs> if there's not a red in here, I'm going to crack up laughing. Oh, there's actually a red in here. There is hope after all, right, Ron? I mean, Scott. <laughs> Hey, Jersey Gypsy, we're going to do some coloring pencils from the five below and the coloring books from Dollar Tree. And this is a kind that tears out. So if you have cute little ones, you want to pick up an Easter Adventures coloring book at the Dollar Tree, they do tear out. And you can give them to your little ones and put them at a little wooden desk and let them have at it. So he's a guy, Bunny. So we're going to make his bow tie. Blue. Now these are from Five Below, and there's no color name on them, so we're going to call this Sky Blue. Uh, let's see how it turns out. It's not too bad. It's doing pretty good. And now I'm on top of the book. Y'all remember now when you're little kids, they ain't gonna be wanting to be like us. We want special. So sometimes you might want to get them a little clipboard to put them on. You know, like get you about 10 little clipboards and just hand them the pictures and put the pencils in a little plastic cup or a little kind of kind of a cool cup you know so that's what you do I, I used to teach guys I used to teach like 30 kids at a church and boy them kids were fast you had to be on your toes you had to have like 15 activities and then they have their little nap time. They lay down on their little cots and take a, about a 30-minute nap. They have their little snack time where they have a little glass of milk and a cookie. Y'all remember those? Per, yeah, perforate them. Um, you prefer the markers? Yeah. But markers do get on the clothes and get all, you know, they can stick a marker on each other. So that's where it can get pretty. 
You know, if you go up to a little kid and stick a pencil on him, he ain't going to get no pencil on him, right? So you got to be careful with that, too. I know you personally would prefer a marker, uh, but you have to get the one, get what's, when teachers are teaching, they have to have what's, their availability is, they make, they don't make a lot of money, let me tell you. <laughs> so, what is this in his hand? It's a basket, okay. Well, duh. Okay, what other colors? I'm going to make his vest a little bit, give him some jazzy look on that vest. Now, when I was taking class, my teacher, she used a, a lot of washi tape on a vest one time. I didn't quite catch that. <clears throat> so somebody says, why don't you just go, go Google or go on YouTube and see what washi tape coloring book will do. Now, mind you, you would like to tell people what to do on some of the things, but sometimes people will do it once and that's as good as it gets. For me, it's going to take more than once. <laughs> But that's okay. You know, I'm not as bright as the some people can pick up on something. You know how some people can look at something and they can put it together? Not me. I have to go on YouTube and look for help. I am excited for Easter. I am the cook in the house, so I get to cook, and that's so much fun. And my sister's excited for me to cook, which is very rare. I don't know what I'm going to cook. Because um, tomorrow, tomorrow's Thursday, so I'm going to go up to her work. And there's some cute, you know, there's Dylan and then there's little Ray, Ray, Ray. We call him Racer because he, like he, he goes so fast you can't keep up with him. But he's young. He's a heartbreaker. He's got, hey, Stacy May. He's like um, blonde hair and blue eyes, you know. He plays the violin. He's a heartbreaker. He got looked at my phone. He says, let me look at your phone. I, I handed it to him. I said, oh, oh, never give your phone to a boy. You will see every game in the world on that phone. Oh, my goodness. I never thought I'd get all those games off my phone. I'm like, I am on to you, boy. You have blue eyes. And he's sweet, too. He's a heartbreaker, that's for sure. Look at those big feet. I wonder what size Bunny's Wear what size shoe they wear. Let's let's ask Alexa. Alexa, what size shoe would a bunny wear? Any <laughs> they don't wear shoes, she says. Okay, you see how it is? Just she, she, she go and give me the nine yarder. She says it depends on the size of the rabbit and the size of the foot. Well, no kidding. Alexa, be quiet. <laughs> you didn't even give me the answer I wanted here. It's probably a size 11 right here. What do y'all think? <laughs> hey, Shay, love. Hey, Jack Galman. How you feeling, honey? From North Carolina, Butterfly Gins. Well, hey, I thought you were on that other live. Everybody's moving around. I was trying not to be in there anybody's live way, but I have to go live sometime. Everybody check each other out. Size 13. Hold on, let me make Butterfly Gin a mod. So she can connect to everybody in the channel. Y'all check her out. It looks like Butterfly Jen. You look like you've lost a lot of weight. You, to me, you do. I mean, you know, everybody looks skinnier than I do. So. I'll tell you one time I was working at a dry cleaners. Oh, yeah, can you believe I worked at a dry cleaners? And um, this old gentleman came in. And he was like in his 90s. How you doing, Jack? I see you. And he says, I went home and I opened up my refrigerator. And I said, yeah. You know, you got to mind your elders, too. 
And he says, there was a rabbit in it. And it came, jumped out. And I looked shocked. And I said, what are you doing in here? He says, I thought this was a Weston house. He says, Weston house? Uh Uh-uh. This is a GE. And that rabbit's ears just fluffed way up in the sky, he says. He walked off with his cotton tail. And he turned around and smiled at me. And he says, do you know what GE means? Do you guys know what GE means? I bet y'all don't, unless some of you have heard this one before. Have a grand Easter. Okay, guys, that was my story. (laughs) I thought, I'm like, okay. So I go home and I tell my mother that. And she said, oh, that was so cute. But you got to realize, hey, distracted me image. You got to realize this guy was in his 90s, and it was so cute. And I worked at one of the high-class dry cleaners. I was the presser. I was the spotter. I was, I didn't do the shirts. Now, I did the pants and the silk clothes and all that. And I spotted them, too. I messed up clothes, too. Let me tell you, I wasn't perfect. So we're just trying out some pencils I got from the five below. Just checking it all out, seeing if they're worth the money. Five (laughs) dollars. So far, I think they're pretty good ideas. But you know, when you got kids in a dollar in a dollar coloring book, when you got grandkids and stuff, and you want to entertain them, this pencil feels weird. You want to do the cheapest things you can get because they they get wild. They just get wild with their stuff. Now, some of them are real picky. Some of them can be picky. But some of them just want to enjoy color. You know what I mean? Did anybody ever make mud pies and eat them? <laughs> hey, Roy, how you doing, handsome? You guys check each other out. Roy's a good channel. He'll take you all the way through California. I'll still never forget that Ferris wheel. And Jack, he's been sick. Everybody tell Jack get well wishes. To send him a like a kiss or a prayer hug. And tell him we're glad he's feeling better and he's back on his feet because we're missing him. And if anything happens to Jack, I think I would cry my eyeballs out. And we don't want nothing to happen to Jack because he's a good man. So everybody put little get well wishes in there. Keep you keep yourself healthy. We love you, Jack. Because Jack is one of those guys, if you ever break down on the side of the road, he'd be there to change your tire. But not now because he's been sick. But I don't know. I think he would. I'll be honest with you. I think he would. I think Jack's the kind of guy he would go all out for you. You guys make sure you connect to get each other. Get to know each other. You know. Enjoy each other. It's fun to meet each other in a channel. You know, my channel is pretty much chit chat. Hang out. You know, watch me color goofy pictures, do goofy things. Hey, Tina Bailey. Now, I'll tell you what about it. If that's the Tina Bailey that does that crocheting, oh, my goodness. I don't know if y'all ever seen her crochet that one doll. I wanted that doll. Every time I see her, I said, I want that doll. You remember that Barbie doll you did, Tina? Oh, my God, girl, you are so talented. You guys need to connect to her. She is very talented. Very, very talented. Are you still crocheting, Tina? You are absolutely a great crocheter. And let me tell you about Scrapping Together. Scrapping Together is a good old guy, too. He is very talented. He gets all that metal and stuff out there and gets it. And You know, if it wasn't for the scrappers out there, this world would be in a hot mess. I mean, you think all those scrappers, because they get the ones that keep those landfills clean. You tell scrapping together, thank you for keeping our landfills. I know he's got one tooth, and I know a guy named Scott Go Life of that this life of mine. We were teasing how I butcher people's names. So I'm gonna make this just in his honor. This a go tooth, because he likes go teeth. I don't know why, but he likes shoes. So I don't think this rabbit's going to be able to wear no shoes. Though. But I'm giving him a go to just for you, Scott. Go this life of mine. Now, y'all know I like all colors. 
because I'm a colorful woman. <laughs> There's a story behind why I'm the way I am. And I think it's because my mama was Indian. My daddy, I think he was Irish. So he was a, he was a good man, but he had the, the hand of the drink, you know, the hand of the drink. And that can really mess up your your whole self. It's a sickness. That alcohol is a sickness. But you're working on some scrapping now. How's that scrapping? Everybody should say hello to scrapping together. That's a good man right there. He does a lot of scrapping. And I always thank him for scrapping and thank all the scrapping and the dumpster divers for keeping it out of the landfill. I used to do some dipping in the land, you know, back in the day. I used to go out and do some picking out of it. I used to, here's what I used to do. I used to go look at the floors. You remember all the florists when they get rid of their flowers? And they'd be kind of half dead, not too bad. So I go dipping in their trash can and I get flowers that look pretty good. I go put them on the cemetery graves that don't have flowers. That's what I do. We covered up, me and my girlfriend, we, they, we had her whole car would smell like flowers. We'd pull them out and we'd put them on the graves that didn't have any flowers. I said, Look at this one. This one's so sad. They haven't had flowers. I don't think they've ever had flowers. And she said, let's put some pretty word ones on that one. Let's put the prettiest ones we got out of the trash. And we put flowers on their grave. And that was fun. It was so fun. Hey, KK, you guys check out KK. There's LASP, the freaky face artist. How you doing, darling? Y'all check each other out. There's a lot of artists in here, game players. People who like to chit-chat and have fun like me. Oh, I tell you what, I got that blessing this morning. And I will be honest with you, they were working on the outside doing something, so they had me trapped, so I was bored to death. So I was, I was putting those press-on nails <laughs> I laughed so hard. I couldn't get them off. I was so glad I did. I was like, oh, Lord, I'll probably never go to the bathroom. Them press on nails will do me some damage. But I had laughed so hard just, just for the few minutes I had with them press on nails. Now, I'm a, on Minnie, she's in the living room watching TV. She, uh, she said she didn't want to be on TV today, YouTube. <coughs> she has the press on nails on her mittens. I left them on her. She's like, I got these press on nails. Miss Southern Bell, I got these press on nails on me. Are you going to take them? And I said, no, Minnie, you're going to keep them on. And she said, oh, I'm so sexy looking now. She's in there watching some kind of serious movie. When she's into those cartoons, I can't get her away. <coughs> Whistle, Mr. Whistle. I hope you guys, Miss Southern Bell, Tess is a 7 a.m. tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Y'all pray for her, KK. She's getting her test tomorrow at 7 a.m. You better get in your bed. Everybody's sick. You better go to sleep. No, you better go to sleep. I need to go to sleep, too, but I can't. I, I got a lot to do tomorrow. I'm going to. I like to go when I'm half asleep anyway. I'm going to, y'all Y'all know I take the trash Monday, right? Well, my sister's going to have something done to her shoulder. She's got shoulder issues. So I said, well, I'll take the trash. She says, and I'll take the Easter stuff to the kids because, you know, I don't want her to have to deal with all that and her shoulder hurts. I usually don't like to take the trash, period, but I'm going to do it anyway. So I'm going to take the trash. You know, I've become a trash lady. I'm Sanford and Son, Miss Southern Bell. Oh, we have to come up with a name there. <clears throat> oh, my. That's wrapped up good. That don't matter to me. Everybody check out Marketplace Boutique. <coughs> Let me check you out first. I don't have you, but I was going to get you. 
Oh, you got some cool stuff. You pretty woman. She's holding up something in her hand now. Let me make sure I got you on that all. So I'm going to make you a mod marketplace, Batigue, so you can uh, connect to everybody in the channel. You're a standard mod, so you can connect to everybody. Make sure you check out all the folks in here. These are good people. We don't put up with no shenanigans. Mm -hmm. Anybody seen any good deals on candy? Well, yeah. You know, I went to um, Dollar Tree. They about wiped out on that candy. Yeah, check out Hillbilly Creative. Now, that woman, she's something else with them nails. Now, Hillbilly Creative, did you see my press on nails? Now, that woman, I watched her when she was doing those nails, and she was kind of worried about them. And then she says, no, I did it. Look, look, I did it. I said, heck, yeah, girl, I can believe it. I said, girl, you got it going on with them nails. And she was doing <clears throat> some kind of marbleizing nails. Well, good night, KK. You, I hope everything works out. Everybody put a prayer in for KK that she does good tomorrow because she's going to see if she's got the big C. Y'all say no to the big C for KK. But, yeah, those nails, I tell you what, they were pretty. I hope this is the same color. No, that's different. <laughs> I forget what colors I use, but that's the fun of it. You can't remember everything. You know what? And don't worry about it if you make a mistake in coloring because you can always throw it away. <laughs> it's only like you, the book's a dollar, you know, right? So this page probably only costs, what, two cents. So that's what you have to look at. And it's just really it's supposed to be relaxed. You're not supposed to go, ew, I made a mistake. I'm a failure. Mm -mm. You never failure. <clears throat> this is, should I make, I'm not, that's just, I don't know if I should make it that color. I'm going to make it a weird color. Weird, weird. I'll make it green. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> So, let's say what we're going to have for our food. Everybody put in the chat what you're going to eat for Easter dinner or Easter breakfast. Now, a lot of you might be eating out, which is cool. I wish I was going out. I wish I was going out of this place. And everybody put what you do on your channel. Say what's your favorite things to do. <clears throat> also put in if you're doing a giveaway. I'm just, you know, you, everybody in the world come to your channel then. <laughs> I actually got something for giving some money, but I don't really expect it from her. I said, no, don't worry about it. But I really like it, so I'm going to just kind of pop it in here in this live. So this is from a channel. She's a big coloring book channel, and she is good. And this is what she gave me. Let me... Pull up her name. Oh, if I forget her name, I'm going to be mad. Her name is Dee Willington's Ham. And she does a lot of um, coloring and giveaways and stuff. Hey, Johnny Knock. So I'm going to kind of just put, this is what she gave me. And I, I just gave her a small super chat. And this is a bookmarker that she gave me. I thought that bookmarker was really pretty, 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 pretty. So I'm going to pop out real quick and look for her channel. If I don't forget her, you know, I start forgetting people's channel names. It's awful. What you do is before you go live, you look for their channel name. It's at the corner. If I can't remember, y'all don't get mad, okay? Nah, I can't find it. Why don't these people go live when I go live? No, I'm just kidding. But I'll put it in afterwards. I mean, I can find it afterwards. But she's really popular. So... So everybody get to know each other. And remember, it's all about the love for one another. So and I'll put that lady's channel. She's really, she's real good. She's real popular. Actually, she's in Georgia. <laughs> I should go meet her. Nah, she probably said, go away, Miss Southern Belle. You're too crazy, girl. You're wild. I just take her shopping. We'll have to go shopping together. I like to go shopping. 
Now, I say that's the knee of this bunny because he's kind of running. He's going to be a brown bunny. So have y'all ever had any bunnies in your life? Hey, Johnny Knight. Have you ever had any bunnies? I mean, I had a girlfriend. She used to eat rabbit meat because her husband had a heart issue. Shh, don't tell the Easter Bunny. You guys check each other out. Check out Roy. He's a good looking man. He'll take you on the Ferris wheel in San Francisco. He'll take you all over San Francisco. He's a cutie pie. You like tall, handsome men. There you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> hey, just remember, he's mine. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm playing. <laughs> hey, I'm just kidding around. That's what I tell everybody when they have a guy come in and I'll say something about him. I said, but just remember, he's mine. Now, nah, y'all can. I don't mind sharing, though. Go ahead. <laughs> Oh, so we can't figure out how big these feet are yeah you always been mine I'll never forget you doing that Ferris wheel that was so sweet but really guys he's you are single so I know you're a single hot looking man so you know you women who are looking for a sweet guy, there you go. Cupid, da 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 This bunny looks so happy. He's going to deliver all the Easter gifts to the little kids. I really don't know what color bunny's noses are, but I'm making his pink. And he's got a go tooth <laughs> for Scott. Everybody check each other out. Get to know each other. So what are we all eating for Easter? I thought about going to get one of those uh, Cajun chickens without the spices on it, you know, because it's boneless. It only takes like 45 minutes to cook. It's very good. It's got that rice and broccoli inside of it stuffed. But I don't know if I want that. What do you usually eat for Easter? Don't Most people eat ham, don't they? Ham, potato salad, uh, devil eggs. Oh, devil eggs sounds so good. I'll never forget. I was on. I was watching somebody on YouTube, and I was boiling eggs. I almost boiled the water out. I got so concentrated on what they were talking about. Don't start boiled eggs when you're watching somebody do something, and you want to do it. Want learn it because those eggs could get away from you. I pin one person every once in a while, so I pin one person that comes to my channel. So I'm going to pin this person for being in my channel today, and that's the person that I'm going to pin for the night, and then I'll pick somebody later on. Now let me go in there and watch her one time so I don't miss her. She's got shorts. Thank you for having those shorts. Oh, she's cute. Oh, I love your glasses in this one. Oh, she's listening to music. She must like Christian music. I'm just going to say cute glasses so I don't mess up. Because I can't hear the music. I don't want to turn it on. Oh, you're a Christian. I love Christian dancing. Oh, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of when I went to church. And I went to... <clears throat> Jews for Jesus. And it was at the Eastside Baptist Church here in Marietta, Georgia. 
and they had music playing, <clears throat> and you could get up and dance. And I enjoyed it. I've never quite experienced that again, but they were so, and I made necklaces for all the church ladies <laughs> with the little Jewish symbols on it, the Star David and everything. Yeah. Faith as a mustard seed. That's my saying. And I have a girlfriend. She um, she lives in, God, where does she live now? West Constance. You never know where she lives. She moves so much. Well, her husband does a lot of uh, electronical stuff, so they travel around, and she's she's got five kids and all. She I called her up, and I said, I just love that saying, faith as a mustard. She said, well, that's a good saying. You tell that saying every time you go on a live, or when you get off alive, tell them to keep it. And that uh, that just is the best saying in the world. Just keep your faith as a mustard. And I've been saying it ever since. I've known her for almost 35 years. I think I drove through Georgia. Oh, wow. Cool. Well, Georgia is, is just don't get hung up on those roundabouts. They can be murder. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'll never forget the roundabout. Mm -hmm. Well, some of them weren't so hard. I just got, I got confused. You get confused on those roundabouts. And, and now Scott, this love of mine, he says, there's a place that doesn't have but roundabouts, and that's all they have. I said, well, they can keep their roundabouts. <laughs> <laughs> this guy was delivering something to us in a hotel, and I said, what do you think of the roundabout? He said, oh, honey, I, them roundabouts ain't going to get me down. I said, oh, okay. <laughs> That's good to know. <laughs> That's good to know that them roundabouts don't get people down. Boy, these are some big toes. Could you imagine getting a toe ring for the bunnies? Boy, that'd be wild. How many of you young ladies wear a toe ring? I had one on, but it bothered me. Could you imagine getting married and you say, All I, I want you to give me a toe ring as my, you know, here, dearly beloved, you here, put the ring on the wife's toe. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> Bring your, pull your foot out and let me see your toe. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Now that would be a fun wedding. I don't know. I would go to that wedding just to see. <laughs> just so I could giggle. Everybody put what state you're from. You don't have to put the city. If you don't want to put the state, I understand. Say none of your bizwets. But just put something so you're in a warm place or a cold place. <laughs> yeah, California. I know you're in California. <laughs> he says, I'm a California dreamer. These old girls are hip. I really dig the style, the wear. That's what he says. California. California. We need to make a book. Well, Georgia's Georgia. Oh, Georgia. Left on my mind. <laughs> Hey, they should say, those girls in Georgia, they're hot and spicy. <laughs> oh, you're in the sunny state. I'm just playing with this thing. I'm not a real famous office colorist. I just like to have fun, guys. Plus, I want to see how good these pencils are. It's all about the pencils. Now, I bet the girl didn't want to see the Barbies gone. She's already left the channel. <laughs> That's all. Oh, you're in Michigan. I have a friend that's in Michigan. She has really cool beans. Well, I thought about going and seeing her and her pizza guys. Wouldn't it be wild if she walked in? Well, she's a busy girl. She, she was one of my coin friends. 
uh, Cherie. Wouldn't it be wild if she came in? Oh, yeah, be wild. <laughs> I would, I'd cry. I haven't seen her in a hundred years. Well, probably less than that, but it's been a while. Jack knows her. Jack's probably already back to sleep. Jack's already gone. Jackie's still in here. Paging Jack. Paging Jack. <laughs> Scorpion Metal. If you guys don't know Scorpion Mills, you should. He does scrapping too, but he is a good, good man. And I can't stress how good he is, but he's a good, good man. I've known him for a long, long time. How's your kids? Scorpion Metals, how's the kids? What are you going to do for Easter? You and your wife. And he's married, guys, but he's still a good, good man. <laughs> Remember I sent that gift to your son? He ran off with it. <laughs> he never saw him again. That was funny. Well, Miss Southern Bell, he ran off with a gift. <laughs> what was the end of that? Y'all yeah, make sure you check them out. I was probably, I'll probably be working. Ah, oh, yeah, you have that serious job. Yeah, you protect the world. Yeah. My brother called me and he says, I called him back and he called me at five and I don't remember him calling me. I said, well, you know, oh well. And I don't have him blocked or anything. <laughs> I wouldn't have my brother blocked, but I think it's funny. I have blocked him before because he called me three times when I was doing a live. And I said, seriously, now, you know, I'm doing a live. And he said, what, what are you talking about? I'm like, oh. you know, and then he called me again. I said, oh, John, I'm going to have to block you. <laughs> so I did. <laughs> and then if he called me again, he couldn't get through. <laughs> that was funny. Then I forgot to unblock him. And then his wife called me and said, can you unblock John? <laughs> oh, sure. Oh, man. I don't know if that's his ear or if that's part of the hat. What do y'all think? It's probably his ear is bruised in. <laughs> I'm going to make it part of the hat. It just, it could be his ear. What do y'all think? Is that his ear or part of the hat right there? I bet I messed up, and that's his ear. Well, he's kind of a blue ear bunny. <laughs> blue ear bunny there. <laughs> hey, this this might be a famous picture now because it's got a mistake in it. You know, they say if you make a mistake in a picture, there's a possibility it could be one of them. One in a million. Look, one in a million. <laughs> I had one time I was painting this picture and I thought it was pretty good. Okay. <laughs> and my brother in law looked at it and he says, <laughs> You know, it's my icon picture. He says, Your icon picture looks like a woman with toilet paper wrapped around her. That's why I kept that picture. And he's passed away. And I said, Really? He says, It's like, you know, don't squeeze the Charmin. Really, it don't look like a shawl. He said it looks like toilet paper. And so ever since then, I let it be my icon just because he made me laugh all the time. <laughs> I was always up to something. Here goes, Susan. <laughs> <That's my brother. laughs> Are you having a bad hair day? <laughs> and it's the way he says it. And he, my hair sticking up and everything. <laughs> And I look at him, I said, yeah, why? Well, <laughs> there's a thing called the beauty parlor or hairbrush. <laughs> oh, he was funny. Oh, my God. He was just funny. And he would read the labels when you go to the grocery store, you know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but he, he's... Now, my brother-in-law was very, very high-class intelligent. He was from the, he was, you know, smart. He went to college. He went to Lovett's, Lovett's, I think Lovett was a college back then. He went there. 
he went to the nun school, but he's a brilliant guy. But he was also humorous, too. You, you know, just because he's from that class of people don't mean you don't know how to laugh, you know. Yeah, just because you have you got money don't mean you don't know how to laugh or to have a good time. He told me he put his brother in the dryer. <laughs> and that's what's happened to that boy. I could tell every time I look at him, I laugh. I think about what him saying. I put my brothers in the dryer and I think about him being in the dryer. Blah, 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 blah. I said, what did your mother say? She said, you boys are silly. <laughs> His mother was funny, too. I learned some stuff from her. She was a, you know, she she taught me how to open a bottle of champagne and our wine. If the cork gets stuck, she says, take some warm water and pour it over the cork area and it'll ease the cork out. And she says, that's the same thing like if you get like a jar of pickles or something and you can't get it open. She says, um. Uh, she says, you know, just pour some warm water over and kind of hit the counter with it and then pop it with your hand like that. Y'all probably know how to get your bottles and stuff up. And, you know, what always works is when you got a man. What part, you, what do y'all think this is? Part of that bunny's rearing or something? That bunny's got a strange tail. So. We'll just make them solid brown all over, except we're going to make that tail look a little different at the end. It looks like he's just hurt his tail. <laughs> it's not so fluffy anymore. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all go watch each other's videos and put a, put a thumbs up and say something in their video, okay? Always say something like, hey, how you doing? This is a nice video. Mm, no, no. I'm going to make it this color. Okay. So just make sure you're always polite. Even if you don't believe in anything, don't give a thumbs down. If you don't like the person's video and you don't like the person, no thumbs down and no ugliness, please. Thank you. Just walk away in peace. That's my philosophy. Because not everybody has the same taste or anything. Yeah. So just always be kind to one another. Even if you're indifferent, be kind. You don't have to be ugly. Just walk away in peace. Because not everybody's going to like each other's videos, you know. Okay, Jack. Well, I hope you're getting to feeling better lately. Yeah. So, it's always, you know, don't say anything. Just walk away. Give them a view at least. And that's what I do. Sometimes I'll go into channels and I'll say, hmm. <laughs> I mean, I would. I go, hmm, this ain't my cup of tea. So I'll just walk away in peace, you know, just, you know, I usually give a thumbs up though, because I'm already in there and then I'll walk away. I usually, you know what I do? I watch those, uh, those people who dance on the shorts and there's this police officer. Now I, I don't, I'm not subscribed to him, but man, he can dance, but I watch every video. <laughs> He'd be shaking his booty. He looked good. And I said, oh, my God. And he said, they said he's a police officer, and he's shaking himself. And and he is just, oh, my God, that guy's got it going on. I want to ask him to do the bend to snap, but he doesn't do lives. <laughs> oh, man. But, man, he's cute. But I don't, I'm not subscribed to him. I just have, he's, like, all over my history, you know, so. Him and these these little kids from a foreign country, I was watching them dance. And they're so, you know, they're from, a, I don't know what country, but I can't understand their language. But they would be helpful to each other. 
So I thought, how cool is that? And they dance good, and they're like toddlers. And everything. I'm like, God, oh, good. Boy. And they're dressed properly, and they support each other. It's just really cool. I just like to watch people dance. And then there's this guy and this woman who dance together. Oh, my God. It's like flash dance or, you know, these people can really dance. I do like to watch those dance people. How many of you like to dance? How many of you like to go out and go dance and shake a tail feather? <laughs> shake a tail feather. <laughs> That's what they used to call it when I was growing up. How many of y'all know how to dance? What's your favorite dance? Do y'all know how to shake your booty? Do you sweat when you dance? <laughs> Are you a robosizer? <laughs> What's your favorite dance? You know, how, do y'all like to slow dance? I like to fast dance. I don't want nobody to touch me. I want to dance by myself. I'm a, I'm a solo girl. You go on over there by yourself. <laughs> we'll be on the same dance floor, but you ain't going to be. I don't want to be all up in your face and you touching me all over, you know. Uh -uh. You, I got my own style of dancing. I'm a freak. I like to dance free style. You know what I mean? So how many of you like that? Do y'all like to dance with somebody holding you up? I don't want them holding me up. I can hold my own self up. I'm an independent dancer. <laughs> you love to watch line dancing, but do you like to dance? Do you, do you like to dance yourself? If you was to be out dancing, do you want the man to hold you up? Or do you want to be on your own, dance by yourself, and just show off? Because <laughs> you know you can dance better than him. you the star of him, right? So do you like to dance by yourself or do you want to dance with him? Or I'm, a, I'm more of a solo kind of girl. I like to dance. You go over there, I'm here. <laughs> you know, you do your thing, I'll do mine. And I'll just kind of watch you dance and see if I can pick up on what you're trying to do over there. I like to dance, but I'm not a good dancer. Oh, come on, Roy. I bet you can. Roy, I think you should do the bend and snap when you go. <laughs> Roy, do the bend and snap. You know what the bend and snap is on Legally Blonde, where she says, where she goes and says, oh, I dropped this piece of paper. And the good looking guy comes up. Hold on, I got to pick it up. And then you bend and you pick up the paper and then you snap <laughs> your butt. I want to say, how many of you guys know how to do the bend and snap? I'm going to bring that bend and snap live again. <laughs> Me, yourself, and I. <laughs> yeah. Remember when you were little girls and boys and you got the radio and you turned it on and you were pretending you were Michael Jackson? Come on, guys. How many of you? Oh, I know. There's many of you in here. It's like, you were Michael Jackson dancing or one of those famous sing actors or, hey, I can do that dance. Let me try that dance. And you're in there and you're dancing, you know. You know, dancing is one of the best exercises you can get. I mean, there's swimming, but there is dancing is a good exercise. I think I've bunnied out. What do y'all think? Should I put some sunshine? Let me add some sunshine. Sunshine for the bunny. Everybody knows it's got to have a little sunshine for the bunny. It's a sunny day. I ain't got no Easter eggs in his basket. He spilt every one of them. I think you should do it. Hey. Roy, you got you got people who will follow your Roy, you got it going on, honey. You got it. You go on in there and you say, okay, guys, I'm gonna do the bend and snap challenge. Mm -mm 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 and Roy's gonna say, okay, everybody look at my body. Okay, Roy, you know you can do it. Okay. He's skinny and tall. He can get away with it. He goes, I'm gonna do the bend and snap. Oh, I dropped my car keys. And there's a fine looking woman coming up to you, go bend. And then you snap your shoulders up and wiggle them, Roy. Yeah, Roy, 
Mm-mm-mm-mm. I can see it now. <laughs> Roy says, oh, oh, that must be a pickup line. <laughs> it is. It's a pickup line, Roy. <laughs> I like Legally. I like that movie, Legally Blonde, because she was so... Hey, Melinda Elliott. Everybody check her out. She's so cool, so sweet. She's a sweetie. She's a sweetie. She has all kinds of things going on her channel. She's fun, and she's called Melinda Elliott. Okay, guys, I'm done with that rabbit. I'm wrapping it out. Um, I really wanted to do Barbie, but I know I'm doing this one for one of the people in the channel. So that one I'm done with. Let's try something else. I could show y'all what my teacher was. This is my teacher's. This is what I colored in my teacher's class. I finished it. I didn't go to class tonight because I didn't have my homework. <laughs> so here's the one. Hey, Amy Goodrich. Here's the one that she was teaching. And her name is Eileen Vick. And she's a colorist. And this is what she teaches. I'm getting good, Ada. So... I um, let's see. Let's look for a different kind of coloring book. I'm not doing that one. <laughs> I should do the flipper. Was, we could do Valentine's guys. Valentine's. <laughs> oh my god, that would be funny. <laughs> say I have some really crazy coloring books. I have dimensional coloring books, but I'm not doing that one. That one's seriously hard. No, that was too soon. I got so much stuff up here. I've got a lot of coloring books to choose from, so I see what is this one? Oh, this one's pretty good. I've done some coloring in here. Did I show y'all this one before? Probably so. Let's see. They're a little tiny pictures. Huh? Woof, woof. Where are you, woof, woof? This is your book. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh. I actually sent a picture to uh, KK from here. I have started it. I did that one. <laughs> hey, this is Scott Goad. This love of mine's. It says, no, that's my brother's ringtone. I love this picture out right here. I have more fun doing these pictures. But you can see where I'm kind of not doing, I'm not really trying. Look at that one. Isn't that cute? Okay. I really don't want to color one in here. I just don't really feel like that one. Okay. That is a good book, though, guys. It's a good book. I'll do that one. I haven't done one in here. Let's do this. <laughs> this one I do would love to do this one. Yeah, I've done some of those. I like to try to do two or three in each book. That's what I like to try. So I haven't done. Oh, I have. Oh, I guess I have to see. I'll do one in here. But I'll, is that the one I want to do? I bet you this is a yellow and black butterfly. Jeez. Hey, Miss Everybody. I'll have to do that one. I want to call it out to me. <laughs> Okay, this one, what color do you think these flowers are? Do you think they're just all green? I mean, there's no, these are not flowers. These are just pebbles kind of deal. I'm going to make them look like that. If not, we'll figure it out. This looks like a cool picture, doesn't it? Look at that butterfly's face. This would be the time to do a butterfly late at night, you know. I don't know what this flower looks like or what color it is. I'm just assuming that's what it would look like. You know. What do I know? Where's my teacher at? Where are you, teacher? <laughs> Where are you, teacher? Why aren't you here? 
giving me advice. She said, look, if you can't come to my class, don't look for me. I'm tired. She's probably eating apples. All her students gave her apples tonight, probably. What's that song go? There well, it used to be a song that would go. Let's make up a song with our, our singing. Everybody hums something. La da 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 da. Let's kind of make songs that would no words, just you know, a little tap dancing in our you know, flow our mouth, our tongues around our mouth. Like la da da da, la da 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 da. How about a guitar? Down 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 down. I still get songs on my mind. We could make up a song about a butterfly. Butterflies flying around your house, many colors. Some come down and kiss your little face. Hello. And when I'm not there, I see that little butterfly flying across the ocean to you. Okay, Roy, here comes that butterfly. Here comes that butterfly to you, Roy. It's going to fly all the way to California and kiss you right on your nose. Aw, that's so sweet. And it's going to dance around and say hello. Hello, Roy. Hmm. Y'all remember that song is called Hello Baby, Chantilly Lace with a Pretty Face and a Ponytail. Ah, she's got a wiggle and a walk. Makes the world go round. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, baby. You looking so fine. <laughs> Y'all remember that song? Now, I bet you women love dancing that song. Now, I bet you all are Chantilly Lace in it. How about all the tree? What's that song? Da 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 California Girls. Now it's California Dreams. Da 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 I walked into a park, da, 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 and I began to pray. No, it's so I walked into a church. I got down on my knees, I began to pray. Oh, come on. <laughs> da, 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 da. You know, there's this lady, I went to look at her video, and she's a French lady, and she's an artist. Oui, oui, bonjour. Well, bonjour, oui, oui. <laughs> nah, I don't know how to speak French. Best I can do is like Polly Beaumont say. You know, I remember that song. Um, Feliz Mabitan. <laughs> Feliz Mabitan. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I love that song. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. From the bottom of my heart. Now, look, guys, there was these two Spanish women talking, <laughs> and I know they were speaking Spanish. I know a little bit, but I said I couldn't understand her. So I said, Feliz Mobby Don, and they turned around and they just smiled and just cracked up laughing. Up. I said, But Feliz Mobby Don, <laughs> they, they were like, they loved it. I said, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. It was around Christmas time anyway. <laughs> hey, whatever. Make people laugh and smile. That's what it's all about. If these are the wrong color. Y'all would tell me, wouldn't you? <laughs> nah, I'm just going with this color. 
People go, come in here and they know. I know that is wrong color. Tonight is. <laughs> I'm assuming these are green. Yeah. So, y'all going to have ham for your Easter. Do women still wear their Easter bonnie for Easter? I'm real excited about Easter. And it's not just about the Easter egg hunt and everything. I'm excited what it really represents. I'm waiting on a coloring book that's a Pomeranian. My mother would love Pomeranian. So when I get that coloring book around my mother's birthday, I'm going to color in her honor and Mother's Day the Pomeranian coloring book. That was her dog. She had a dog that was a Pomeranian named Sugar Bear. I got it for her because she was like at the age where, you know, your mama needs a Pomeranian. Or Actually, this is what this is. This is what my Pomeranian looked like when I had one. And uh, Patriot's mom gave me this Pomeranian. I love pom-poms. Isn't it cute? Look at that face. <laughs> but they usually have a lot of hair, you know. And then you get them shaved because, man, it is so hot sometimes. Thank you, Melinda. You have a pretty voice, too. I've heard your voice. Yeah. I just like to color. I do. I like to color. I like to sometimes it depends on. And it has to be some reason why I'm coloring at certain hours of the night. And sometimes I'll, after this, I'll go put my arm under a heat bath. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I, my arms are killing me after that color night. But it's not just color. I, I mean, I, I do a lot of activities during the day. Like, you know, I do a lot. Nobody can see it, but the Lord up in heaven. <laughs> but I do a lot of activities that require a lot of physicalness. So, yeah. Sometimes I don't feel like color. I didn't really have my homework for my teacher, so I didn't want to go in. I didn't have my picture, so I didn't feel like I wanted to come in, you know, I'm playing hooky. <laughs> she probably says she don't care really, but I, I care. I want to have my paperwork. So I'll go tomorrow and I'll go to Office Depot and get get my picture. I just didn't feel like going today. I have really, I was trapped anyway. They were, they were working on the house and I had to open that mail. That's all, I have a lot going on. So sometimes you just have to, you know, do what's most important, you know. That's what this guy used to tell me. He says, I said, I got a lot going on and I got a lot going on. I'm like, where do you start? And he said, just do what's most important. I mean, there's so much to do, you know. And just let the rest sit there. I said, well, I can let the rest sit there. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Bud Files, did I miss you? How are you doing? How was your premiere? I need to go over there and do the replay on your premiere. I saw you go up. I said, well, I'm going to watch the replay. Everybody check out the Bud Files. He has a beautiful wife. A sweet little daughter, and his son sometimes goes with him. 
His daughter's a hot mess, but I I get tickled at her a lot. She's so fashionable, Bud Files' daughter is. I get tickled. She has, sometimes lets that sweater come off her shoulders. That looks cute. So... One time she made Christmas cookies, if I'm not mistaken, and she was decorating them on a live. I remember that. Them cookies look good. Did y'all eat all those cookies? Well, yeah. <laughs> Did you ever send anything to Miss Southern Belle? One of them old Christmas cookie. <laughs> well, no. I <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, Bud Files do a lot of historical, um, where they live, they go to all these places. Sometimes they go to flea markets and shop, and sometimes they go into these historical areas like museums and stuff and tell the history about places and, you know, and discuss the barn and stuff like that. And they go to parks. It's just, they're, they're like a little bit of everything. And, you know, they do a little bit of everything. You know what my brother would say? He said, Bud Files, will you go to the police department and get me a couple patches from your police department and send it to me? Because my brother, he still collects them. He's a retired policeman. He collects those patches from the police department. So every time I go somewhere, I'd have to look for those police patches and send it to him. Yeah, and I'd have to go into the police department, Savannah, Georgia, when I was Judy, and we'd get them some. And they'd give it to us if they had some on hand. Yeah. Am I missing what people are saying? Good morning, Dan. How are you doing? How's that fish doing? I wonder if th that that fish you said you had, you know, you said all the other fishes don't seem like they got it, and you, you gave them all the treatment. I wonder if he has, like you said, a, a fish disease that's not contagious. What do you think? Now, Dan does a lot. Of, he's been He takes care of his fishes. But he also does games, you know, like at night, which I do watch. His, I fell asleep last time. But he has these games, and they're like princesses and kings and stuff. Well, last one was a woman. Good night, Manny. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate you. But he does all kinds of games and storyline games. A storyline game is like a movie, you know, to me. I used to watch this one girl. She she's not she don't do it anymore. She's got a baby and everything. But she was my first one, a gamer. And I tell her, I gotta run up to the grocery store. And she said, Okay, but I'm gonna leave you running. She said, Okay. So she was like Christine, I think was her name. I don't know if she's still around. Somebody says she's still around, but she don't do it anymore. But she used to do storyline games too, and I used to watch her way back in the day. I mean I just leave the thing running. I tell her, I got to go. But she'd go live, you know. Hey, Slim Cat and me, how you doing? Happy Easter to you. How's that kitty doing? Now, you talk about a girl gets footage of her cat riding. Slim Cat and me, I seen that video pop up. And I said, oh, my God, that cat is so friggin' adorable. I mean, you know. How's old Slim Cat doing today? How's he doing? He's a beautiful cat. <coughs> I used to watch Butters and Me and Slim Cat. Those were my cats. And he would like Butters and Me. And you know, it takes a lot of skill to get them cats to do certain things. It takes a lot. 
It really does. So it ain't easy. Cats are, they got a, their own way about things. Let me tell you. So, but the footage on Slim Cat is really cute. She just really has that cat pose, and that's her baby. So is he ready for springtime? Is the cat ready for springtime? You know, does that hate does that pollen bother your cat? My cats used to hate it. They hated pollen. We always look forward for the rain. The cats were even jumping up and down. Yay, it's raining. Thank God the pollen's going away. <laughs> I think they get that from me. They hated it. Yeah, it's real bad here in Georgia. He's my baby. Nothing bothers him except other cats. Oh, my God. I can see that. <laughs> He's something else. He's adorable. Y'all make sure you check out her cat footage. And you check out Dan's fish. You should put Dan on. Let him, let him see Dan's fish. Hey Josie Place, how you doing? Beautiful. Y'all check her out. She's a she's into auctions. She hand makes jewelry too. I was gonna ask you, Josie, are you still hand making your jewelry? Do you teach? I forgot how to do the bottoms, you know, with a the clamper. The clamper. <laughs> Lord of mercy. I actually have a lot of stones over there. I don't have my jury pulled out, but I do have a lot of stuff. Have you ever made anything with a uh, cat's eye, Josie? You know, the grade A cat's eye from Fire Mountain Gym. You ever buy anything from them? Oh, I love cat's eyes. That's my favorite. Midnight Blue cat's eyes, grade A, and the gold. You do jury art. I try wire wrapping, but I can't do that wire wrapping, Josie. That's just not my cup of tea. But I did try it. It's not like I didn't try it, but it's not my favorite thing to do. Y'all make sure you check out Josie if y'all like beautiful jewelry at a good price. I think you have another channel It's not... Dealing with any kind of sales stuff. You just like to talk and stuff. You can put your... Everybody put your link up, okay? Put your link up. Put your link up. <laughs> hey, Bear Hug. How you doing? How you feeling these days? Did I miss you? Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. How's Texas? Everybody connect to each other. I have one person pinned. I do that once in a while. I pin somebody to have everybody check them out. That's what I do. Now it's time for this one to be pinned. Okay. Let's try this one. Let's try this one for a while. Uh, I'll pin her for a while. I like to pin different people, give everybody a chance on the spotlight. So what y'all going to do for, well, Josie, uh, what you doing for Easter, hon? You going to spend it with your son? And your grandkids, y'all gonna color some eggs? If you could color some little eggs. I used a uh, egg color when I was tie dyeing some shirts. That was fun. Everybody put your link up. 
so everybody can connect to you. Make sure y'all watch each other's playlists. Have a everybody make a playlist couple. You know, like you say, hey, I'm gonna watch your playlist, such and such, and you watch my playlist. Even if you're monetized, it's a good idea to run each other's playlists. Take turns running each other's playlists, okay? Y'all check out Bear Hug. She's a supporter, but make sure you always welcome the supporters that don't have channels because they're the ones that truly make your channel rock and in a row. You're going to go to your son's? That sounds fun. Let him do the cooking. Let his wife do the cooking. I'm just kidding. Let everybody else do their cooking. How many people are going to go to church? That's probably one of the one time that the um, this is what somebody said. That's probably the one time that the church is going to be packed. It's going to be on Easter Sunday and Christmas. That's the day that everybody goes to church. Okay. That's a lot of cards. Um, I'll blame this one on the teacher. <laughs> so I'll make her too. Easter baskets. Yeah, I got the Easter baskets going on. That's going tomorrow. You know, I got to do that. And I got, you know, my sister has these guys at work, you know, in the warehouse. And I got them some, it, it's nothing big, just some junk food. <laughs> Everybody likes junk food, especially if they ain't got nothing. I keep telling them I'm going to bring them a meaty pizza, and they laugh at me. I haven't followed through yet. You know, I got to follow through, guys. You know, I, you tell somebody something, you got to follow through, you know. Or don't tell them at all. And the thing about it is I remember probably more than they do. But I'm going to take them this other stuff. You know. Bear hug, she won her a picture. Did you ever get that picture yet? Bear hug, are you coloring with me? I wonder if Cher's coloring with me. She sometimes will color with me. Oh, look, I forgot that flower. <laughs> Everybody put up your link so other people can connect to you. Oh, there's Cher laughing. So the girl that I did the, the other picture for, she's not in here anymore. She left. Made me cry. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that thing's going to make me cry. I had a beautiful blessing from that, that mail call, so I don't think nothing's going to. Plus, I had fun with those those uh, fingernail. Hey, Thomas Collins, how you doing? How's everything going for you? Let me pop in and see who you are. Oh, you got seven subscribers. Okay, more about that channel. Well, tell me a little bit about yourself, Thomas Collins. You're a supporter, so give me an idea, what, you know, what's your channel about or what you're looking for so I can kind of fill you out, Thomas Collins. Because I don't know, what are you into? I mean, are you, you was busy today? Mm, okay. Thomas Collins, don't leave now. Stay with us. 
So I just need to know. You look like you're a gamer. Are you a gamer? Do you like to watch games? I have a channel, yes, but I don't have anything I'm afraid to. Oh, let me tell you, Thomas. Don't be afraid. Start off with being a, go up on people's lives and stuff. But tell us what you're, if you was to be, be you know, have a channel, um, do a channel. What would you want to put on your channel? Don't be afraid. That's that old devil working your way when you're afraid. You know, that old devil doesn't want you to be comfortable in your skin or nothing. He wants you to be afraid of everything. That's him. Don't be afraid. You know. Don't be afraid of anything. You never know. Don't be afraid. Have you been bullied before? I mean, a lot of people do get bullied. You know, don't be afraid. You never know until you try. I'll put him both on my channel link. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to give you some courage. I'm going to go ahead and make you a standard mod. And I'm going to tell you what you do. Have you ever been a mod before? A standard mod is when you turn, when you're blue, you can go and touch anybody in this channel that's blue too. And you can go to them and you can connect to their uh, channel. Y'all become friends. So, so I want to show you. Let me dim down these lights. Are y'all ready for the one-on-one, -on -one, Miss Southern Bell? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Here's the phone. You might be on, if you're on a device, I, got, I can do it only from the phone. Here's your phone and here's everybody in here. Okay. See so all the little icons, that's them. Okay. I'm on YouTube. So I can come in here, anybody in here. Bear hug, you're going to be, now I'm going to do a person that's got it. Marketplace Boutique. I'm going to touch Marketplace fatigue, and see, I opened her up. You see her right there? Marketplace fatigue, but Bear Hugs talking to her, I guess they're talking. You can go into their channel. You see it? So here's where it says, she's the, it says channel activity up at the top. This is how many times she's been in my channel. But it's going to say go to channel. So you're going to hit go to channel. And here she is. This is her channel. Then you can go, I don't have I don't have the volume on, so I can hit videos. Then you hit, it's best to hit shorts if you want to come back. So I've already been to that short, so I'll go to this short, and I'll open up this short. She has a beautiful cat, and so I'm going to give her a thumbs up, and then I'm going to let it play through. And then you see that little bark right there where it says, it says 14, that's where you comment. And then I can go in there and leave a message and we'll say, pretty kitty. And then I'll put a picture of a cat. That's what I text in there. See where I text that? You know how to do the text, I'm sure. Then that's me right there. You see that arrow right there? And then I'm going to touch that. And then I've left a comment in hers. Now I can go back to my channel real quick because I'm doing a short. And see up at the top, there's that little white arrow. And then there's a magnifying glass. You see that little white arrow above my, you hit that. And then you you can see me down there. See that little face down there? See where it's texting right there, my face? Then you hit that. 
And I didn't do that right, did I? Yeah, I did. I did it right. Okay, here I am. See, there I am showing you. <clears throat> See me right there? It says, well, let's cut our live. Then I go back to the live. See? Voila. And that's how you get in and out. I hope I helped you. He says, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, well. I hope I helped somebody. <laughs> Okay, well, what do you like to do? Do you like to color? Do you like to sing? Do you like to scrap? Do you like to go shopping? You know, I think a lot of people don't realize this, but we need some men out there shopping because men do not have any men out there shopping for clothes. I haven't seen any clothes shopper out there. Do you like to go to parks? Do you like to, what is your favorite thing to do? What is your hobbies? Do you like to go swimming? I love to see you in that one. <laughs> oh, what do you wear? No, I'm just joking. Do you like, do you like to, there's a lot of survival channels. There's a lot of people who are into survival stuff that do surviving you know, so that one, I did that one too. I like my survival. There's a guy on, and you can do all kinds of things. You got to, when you start your channel, when you go live, you got to learn to make your mods. Don't make them the managing mod unless you know them like your BFs, you know, the one that wouldn't burn you, you know, because that's the one that's going to be over all the standard mods. Now I have a managing mod in my channel right now. And I trust her. But there's a lot of um, people that don't realize that the managing mod is over the standard mod. So you don't want to make that one. Just make them all standard. I just make everybody a mod. But that's me. You don't have to do that. You can just pick four people. Some people don't do that. Uh, Roy can tell you how to do the uh, other thing. He does where you drop your link if you say something. Me, I don't know how to do that. So you have to pop around to different people and know how to do certain things. Me, I like the guy that does the hangman in the channel. <laughs> I don't know how to do that in my channel, but I go to his channel. He knows me too. He says, okay, Miss Southern Bell, hold up. Hold on now. I got to put the hangman. Guys, y'all got to wait. Miss Southern Bell's here. You got to have her hangman going off. He knows I love his hangman. Yeah, I love to play hangman. Some of them play other kind of games. Mammy Hillstick, have a wonderful night. I, she's a really nice lady. A, let's see, I, I've never seen this name. A Astral, a Astral Coaster Processor. Let me go to your channel. Let's see. You've been around for a while, too. Why aren't you? Well, yes, I understand. I got made fun of certain people. Well, you know what? Them people are going to have to go seek help because, you know what? You don't worry about what people think about you. You know who's most important in the world is yourself and God. You just got to worry about you and yours. You know, don't worry about, you know, what people say about you. Because they're not your maker. You know. And that's just sad that people make fun of people. You know. I was made fun of all my life. I was called big mama. Fat mama. Pig face. I mean. You know, I've been called every name. So I said. You know what. God don't like ugly. And that's just a shame that they have to pick on people. Because. People that do that, they're going to be punished in the long run. But you don't let people bring you down. You like to do That's fine. There's a lot of men that like to do adult coloring. Um, those are the kind of, you know, there's guys that like to make cars. Big deal. There's men that like to cook. There ain't no woman making fun of them because they like to be cooked for but you don't worry about what people say about you because you know what? Them people ain't got nothing better to do than be little others 
because they're so little themselves, you know, and they're insecure. You really just, when somebody tries to hurt you, you just bow your head down and start praying for them. Say, oh, Lord, forgive them for they have not know what they say, you know, and say a prayer for them right there in Johnny on the spot. Because usually people that hurt people or go out of their way to hurt people, they ain't got nothing better to do. And that's the sad. You just got to feel sorry for them because they're the ones that's hurting. There's even a movie about a little boy that used to bully this other little boy. And um, this guy says, but you don't know what he's going through. He had like this guardian angel. I couldn't tell you the name of the movie, but he was a little boy. And he says, but this guy's so mean to me, he beats me up. But you don't know what he's going through. So we're going to follow him home. And he, he, nobody could see this other guy. It was an angel. And so they followed him home. And his daddy would beat the living crap out of him. So he was so angry because of his life was crap. Good night, Josie. And his, the little boy's life was good. You know, he had a good mom and a good daddy. But he was jealous of that little boy. So that's what it is. When somebody makes fun of you, they're jealous or they're insecure and you just pray for them and you just tell them how you, you feel for them and just keep moving on. Because people like that, you know, you just got to feel you, you got to there's something going on with them, you know. And I tell those kids when they when I was on TikTok one time, these kids were saying something ugly. I said, you know what, baby, you, I, I just got to have to give you a kiss. And they just laugh. I'm going to kiss you right on the face because I think you need a little kissy for me. And I go, mm. and they just crack up laughing and they've already forgotten about being angry. They thought it was fine. But people, they just want to be loved and they're angry. So you have to just, you know, just look over them. Just don't even acknowledge them in your chat. If you want the views, just don't acknowledge them in your chat. And just let them say what they want because they're going to say it anyway. That's what they feel at the time. And besides, you know, some people at this hour are drunk and they come on your channel and they say, hey, you stupid old woman. I'm drunk. Some of them are drunk. <laughs> You know, so you just have to look over. It's kind of sad. Sometimes they're they're drinking and they're drunk and, you know, what can you do? What can you do? But just don't let them, don't let them bring your joy down. You go have fun. You pull your coloring books out. If you want to go 10 times live a day, you do it. You have yourself a good time. Don't you worry about what other people say about you. You just worry about what God thinks about you. And that's it. That's you, God. You got to have faith as a mustard seed. Just be good. That's what my, my philosophy is. Just be good. It's the hardest thing to do because you're so hurt and so angry that this person said this about you. Well, it's probably not true, but they'll believe them. No, they won't. They'll think they're an idiot for coming to your live anyway and saying those horrible things. You know? I have people going to my friend's lot. I'm like, well, seriously? Come to mine. <laughs> I feel sorry for them. They have to go hurt my friends. I feel sorry for them, period. You know, they have to attack my friends, but they can't even come to my live and attack me. I probably already got them blocked anyway. But, you know, it's just sad, you know. Yeah, people have to hurt people. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. We'll name this butterfly Thomas Collins. That's this butterfly's name. Because you know why? This butterfly is not going to take nothing off of nobody. He's going to flicker and fly around and show his beautiful self. Uh, I just, I don't understand people, but you know, when I get that way, I tell God, I said, Lord, I'm calling on you. You know, and I said, Lord, 
I don't understand this person. Some of them, are my, some of them are my friends too, you know. So I don't know why that person acted like this, and I love them so much, you know. And sometimes your friends hurt your little heart too, you know. And they said, he says, just here's the thing. He says you can accept your friend for who they are, or you can just let them go. And you know I ain't gonna let that friend go because I love that friend. So there's some things about your friends that's going to be indifferent to you, too, you know. And that's the truth, you know. Your friends aren't going to be just like you. You're you're one of a kind. When God made you, he put you together with a lot of love and a lot of kindness, a lot of ripple and a lot of kisses. He put that sprinkle of joy in your heart, and he said, here's your talent, son. He said, you're going to be beautiful. You're going to go out there and make the world shine. That's what he's going to do. Because he's my boy. That's what she's going to do. So don't you let nobody beat you down. You know, my mama was really into that. My mama was a strong woman. I won't tell you. I don't know if y'all ever watched that movie. I want to tell you what a story about a Hopper Valley Whittles. Wow. That was my mama right there. She says, now my daughter, she might be slow, but she's my daughter and she's going to be in, she's going to be in the smartest classes and I don't care if she flunks. She's going to be in there with the rest of them. And that was her. She loved me. And they wanted to make me. They, I didn't feel like I belonged. You know, I, you know. sometimes you don't feel like you belong in that crowd or you belong in this group. Let me tell you something. Every one of you belong in this group. Every one of you. Nobody's better than nobody and nobody's smarter than nobody. And nobody can do better than anybody. We're all good and we all belong. So that's what I'm going to tell you. So you belong. The should thing about it is I can keep telling you until I'm blue in the face, but you got to believe. you got to believe in yourself. You know. you got to have faith in your heart that you can move yourself around and you know you can do it. You know, one time I went to this girl's house and she said, can you frame this? I said, sure. What do you want me to frame? I didn't know what the world I was doing. <laughs> I went in the other room and pulled up YouTube and figured it out by watching somebody. And she come back and she said, oh, that looks good. And I said, thank you. I made $30 doing those framing pictures. So, hey, <laughs> I needed that extra $30. So you got to believe and you got to find a way to figure it out. Don't be afraid. To fail, because you know what? If you at least you tried. I mean, there's some things I've done. I've cooked some cornbread one time. That cornbread was so nasty. <laughs> Mother said, this is terrible. And I said, yeah. I'll go on it, and I really wanted a piece of cornbread. She said, well, don't be cooking it like that no more, and we could have had a piece. So, you know, <laughs> I made homemade biscuits that you could throw up against the wall and break the Break the towel of the wall, so, you know. I use those homemade biscuits for rocks. <laughs> and you know what's funny is throwing them out there. Good night, Slim Cat. I hope you met some new friends, darling. You're so sweet and that kitty cat. I'll never forget. <laughs> oh, oh, one time I was going to school and this guy, he always got something. To, he always got into something. And I couldn't find him and he had to help me bake. I had to pick up a pan that was heavy and about killed me. So he was gone, you know, and I made this cake and it tasted terrible. And when the teacher, I asked the teacher, I said, what would happen if I turned this cake over while it's hot? She said, I'll fall all apart. I said, okay. Well, when he came in, <laughs> I know what he was doing. I said, she said, make sure you turn this cake over while it's good and hot. And he turned it over. 
<laughs> I love that one. He turned it over and that cake fell apart. <laughs> and he looked at me. He looked so he looked so funny. He looked. His mouth must have hit the floor. And he looked at me and the teacher looked at me and I said, Uh oh, I guess we ain't gonna serve that cake because it tasted terrible. I didn't want nobody eating that cake I baked. It was terrible. I forgot to put the salt in it. Man, when you don't put salt in the cake, it's terrible. She said, that's okay. We'll make it into pudding. Ah, you don't want to do that. I said, why didn't you drop it on the floor, you bonehead? <laughs> he looked at me. He said, this was planned. <laughs> I said, that's for sure. I didn't want to serve that cake. It was terrible. Hey, backyard trucker. How you doing? I ain't seen you in a hundred years. Hundred and ten years. Let me go in there and make sure you're the same person I used to watch. Yep. Let me make sure though. Let me look at a short. I don't remember you having that cute little kitty. I'm gonna have to put my thumbs up on that one. Oh, everybody's got cute cats. It's not fair. <laughs> I want a kitty cat. I got a fake one. Y'all got to check out these kitties he's got. Well, this might be a woman. I can't turn up the volume. It says, leave me alone. Leave me alone, that kitty says. <laughs> I think... Aren't you the one that got me into eating those potato chips one time and you cooked in your truck? I don't know. I know so many truckers. Did you get me in trouble making me buy those potato chips? <laughs> Did you? Get... There was a truck driver. He had those potato chips. He had cooked in his truck. I'm going to make you a mod backyard burger. Backyard burger trucker. I might have a burger on my mind. Oh my God, that's funny. <laughs> He's, I don't know if it's a she or a he, but you got a cute kitty. I watched the kitty video. Don't mess with me. I love cats too. I, I really do love cats, but I do, if I could have my dog now, we're going to talk about the dog. It's going to be a chihuahua or a pomeranian. What were you joking about? Hi, backyard trucker. I didn't see your joke. Miss Bella cat peeks over her table when she moves. Oh, yeah, I got these. Yeah, this T-shirt. I wish they were real. <laughs> There's some good times having those kitties. I had, I had a cat named Big Mac. And that cat was funny. Ooh. I said, I said, now, okay, Big Mac. And he was, I got him at McDonald's. That's why his name's Big Mac. I said, don't touch any beads. Okay, don't touch the beads. Please don't touch them. So I left and I came back and he had the wire in his mouth and the beads were not even touched. And I said, oh. well, he didn't touch the beads, so I couldn't get mad at him. He did not one move, but he had that wire in his mouth, and I had to chase him down to get that wire because he could, you know, if they swallow that, that's the end of that. I said, oh, God, I should have said, just don't touch anything on this. I had to rethread that whole necklace, but he didn't touch the bees. He did not touch the bees. So you know what? I couldn't get mad at him. So right, am I right or am I right? You can't get, you can't get mad. He did not touch the bees. Dang, that cat was smart. I was I was very angry, but I couldn't I couldn't say anything mad at him because he didn't touch the beads. They stayed right where they were. So you gotta be careful what you say to anybody or anything because they he didn't touch them. He just eased that wire out, and I, I he liked to get his hands and put it in. Y'all ever had them where they put their hands down in the ice and try to dip the ice out of your glass, okay, or to steal the straw? Hey, strong-minded juries, how you doing? Beautiful. How, how are you doing? How was Hawaii? You went to Hawaii or did you go to Mexico? Where did you go? You want, to, you want somewhere different. I think you went to Mexico because you asked me how to count this money and I wrote it down in your live. 
I bet you had a good time. You always seem like you go to places and go have a good time. Mexico, yeah. Did you get some tequila? Did you have a tequila moment? Did you dance with a with a um, light fixture on your head? <laughs> That's what my brother-in-law says. When I went to Mexico, I don't remember nothing. What's happened in Mexico stays in Mexico, right? <laughs> Everybody check her out. She's a beautiful Canadian lady. You know what? We, I, my sister said, look, he's from he's from uh, Canada. I said, let's pull up side. She wouldn't do it. I said, you are so mean. I wanted to see if I knew him. And she's like, I don't know everybody from Canada. That's a big place. I said, I know, but I could tell him my channel name and he could look me up. <laughs> and then he could meet more Canadians, I know. She said, that's true. Well, oh, well. She had her mind focused on that makeup. <laughs> I was, that's okay. I got I got that hair, that stuff where it says for wow. You know, when I did that short, that conditioner, that $29 conditioner. I hope I can figure out how to get that to spray on my hair. Some of these things are complicated in life. That's a pretty color right there. This is like an aqua blue. I think those fit that, yeah. I want it right there near that green one. It has to be near that one for some reason. It's like they're kind of so Cher says if anybody wants to come to her house she's going to cook this nice meal <laughs> I'm just kidding <laughs> Cher says don't do that <laughs> I called Cher and I said what you going to cook you know I don't cook <laughs> I burn. <laughs> oh, me. Heck, I'd love to cook, but my sister said, Ah, oh, you're making the house smell. Oh, my Lord. Let me pull out some candles. <laughs> and then while you're cooking, you smell candles burning. It's like a seance of food. <laughs> I'm like, Come on, man. Let me at least eat my food smelling like food that smells like candles. Like, some kind of funky strawberry candle or something like that, you know. She's so funny. You know, I love to make some microwave popcorn. If I made microwave popcorn, she would get so mad. She'd hit that floor. She'd I can't smell that microwave popcorn. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God. So I'm going to get me a, I'm definitely going to get me a microwave and stick it out in the, out in the garage so I can make microwave popcorn and stuff. Think about it. That would be cool. Then my, everything out there would smell like microwave popcorn. I love popcorn, too. There's that one. Have you ever had the one with that lime juice in it? It's kind of got that lime flavor. It tastes so good. It's supposed to be diet, but I don't really think popcorn's diet. I think it's not that good for you, but I do like it. It's something crunchy. I had carrot sticks tonight. I said, I better eat some carrot sticks. I feel like it's going to be one of those nights. And I drank some pickle juice. I know it sounds like a pregnant diet. <laughs> hey, I had carrot sticks and pickle juice tonight. <laughs> oh, man. When I go to the McDonald's, I like that fish sandwich. And I said, make sure you put a lot of onions on it and pickles. No, then I'll never put a lot of onions. Some places will smother it in onions, but not that. Not the fish sandwich, no. I told the guy, I says, I'm really craving pickles. Please put a lot. And he says, I'll try. So they did make sure it got four pickles on it. 
I'm like, really? Seriously? We're talking a lot of pickles. We're talking about stack it full of pickles. A pickle sandwich. <laughs> I love tomato sandwiches. My sister said, what are you going to have for breakfast? A tomato sandwich. And she asked me yesterday, she said, what are you having for breakfast today? A tomato sandwich. She said, what are you having for breakfast tomorrow? Never mind. A tomato sandwich. Can't help it. I love tomatoes. I'm trying to quit going to McDonald's so much. Hey, Wolf Wolf, how you doing? You better be careful. Some guys are really weird and your husband probably wouldn't be very happy. I'm not married. <laughs> and I have a black belt. Well, I know how, I know how to defend myself. I've never I've been in predicaments where uh, you know, I've been in predicaments where you think, you know, okay, I'll be scared. I'm not scared. I really ain't. Okay, the guy stopped and waved a gun at me, and I waved back at him. <laughs> he looked at me so funny. So that girl's crazy. I'm out of here. I mean, you know, what can I do? You're waving a gun at me. One time I rolled the window down. I said, what kind of gun is that? He said, ma'am, I'm waving a gun at you. I said, I thought you wanted to tell me what kind of gun it is and everything. You know? If you act like you're scared, it's worse. They, they think they got power over you. That's the thing. Hey, Life with Patty. Is Life with Patty in here? I'll be doggone, Life. Hey, hey, girl. Y'all make sure y'all connect to her. She's cool beans. She's a California girl. Roy, are you in here? Life of Patty. There we go. We got to gotta give her the big one-two shout-out. Y'all make sure you check her out because she's a cool channel. How you been doing, girl? She can really cook, too. A girl cooks good stuff. I've known life with Patty a long time. Life with Patty, I'm going to classes, but I didn't go to class tonight. I'm cutting class. If my teacher comes in here, I'm going to say, what? I'm bringing in a, I um, forgot my homework deal. <laughs> Oh, man. I'm committed. I just didn't have my homework. I have to go get it printed, and I don't have a printer yet. You know, um, well, what was your question? Your, your, I have a question. No, I'm not married. I've never been married. I'm the new, when you look at the old maid card, I'm going to be the latest old maid in the card stack. You'll see me. I'm going to be the latest, newest old maid in the card stack because they need one. You know how the old one looks gray-headed and kind of cripple looking? That's going to be out. That's totally out. The new old maid <laughs> is going to be an old maid with style. She's going to look like Barbie, but she's going to be sexy and pretty and classy. And she's going to be able to walk and carry herself because just because she's old don't mean she ain't got no get up and go. You know what I mean? Okay, well, I got to have this one. Yeah, I need to get a printer, y'all. Yeah. But you know what? If I get a printer, then I if I only print once in a while, then the ink gets old. I had that happen. The ink would get old, and then 
there's $59 right there gone. So I just, you know, go do a picture once in a while. I'm not going to always do the picture she does. I just like the picture she picked. I mean, she did this one and I went and got it printed. I thought that one was cute. What do y'all think of that picture? Isn't that cute? So I did that one and went and got it printed. So I'm going to go get it printed, the other one. I thought she was going to do another one. I did get that one printed, but she ain't doing that one. So I've got a picture that she never did do. Well, everybody that's married in the channel put a one in the chat. And everybody that's single in the channel put a two in the chat. And we could just see who's all single in here. How about that? And then you'll know who you can find your heart to. I'm starting to, I'm starting to, what do you call that? A love triangle. <laughs> Here, love, connection tonight. <laughs> At Miss Southern Bells. <laughs> Love's gonna get you if you don't watch out. If it ever gets you, gonna scream and shout. Yoda, 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 yoda. That's what love's all about. I, I see that. Hello, Marketplace again. Watchman. Oh, okay, Watchman Backyard Trucker. I can't hear. You can't hear. You got beans in your ears? Wolf House. Is the volume down? Can you hear me now? That sounds like that commercial. Can you hear me now? Is that better? I've got to get busy and color my hair. I don't get mine colored out because... I know how to do it, but I'm going to get it cut, but I'm going to color first and then let them cut it. I've got a degree in hairdressing, so I know. I put too much, I had put a golden blonde on my hair and put, made it look too reddish, ashish, and I don't like that. So now I went back, got another color, and made it more of an orchid blonde, which is more of a which has got a color of a, um, you know, you, when you you got more red in your hair, you got to look for something with more blue in it. Good night. I will see you in, in the, you in the next one. Take care and thanks for listening to me ramble on. Well, I'm glad you came by. I hope you check out everybody in the channel and met, meet some new friends. And don't let nobody put you down, okay? You're beautiful, beautiful souls. Somebody always says that in their channel. I don't remember who. I do remember. I just want to say. <laughs> There's a lot of people say that in their channel. I have this song on my mind. Oh, Lord, they said, oh, oh. oh come on, guys. Y'all know what? Well, my mother used to sing this song. Well, no. Okay. Da, 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 da. Okay. One glad morning when this life is over, I'll fly away. How does it go, guys? To that beautiful sunshine in the sky. <laughs> I'll fly away. God, yeah. I'll fly away, oh glory. I'll fly away in the morning.
Melinda says, Elliot says goodbye. Hey, Joe's flying. How you doing? Isn't that funny? I'm singing a song, I'll fly away, and you come in. <laughs> That's pretty wild. Strong minds, Drew, do you miss your mama? Of course she misses her mama. I miss my mama. I'm going to do a coloring live. Um, I'm going to do it for Mother's Day, and I'm going to dedicate it to all the mamas. That I'm going to call it the uh, people who are, it's going to be like my personal choice of a coloring book. My mother liked Pomeranians, so I'm going to dedicate it to my all mothers, but it was really my mother's favorite dog. So I'm going to kind of dedicate it to all the mothers who passed. We can all cry. I missed my mom. She was awesome. She was my hero. Thank you. How you been doing? Let's see if I know Joe's wife. He's a drones channel. Joe, are you a drones channel? <laughs> Show me your drones. Let's see if I'm good at this. Because there's another channel that comes in and says, no, I'm not that. <laughs> I'm not that. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Sorry. Let's see if it, he, it's probably him. Some of them, I forget what they are. Some of them are car baseball card channels and I get one of them I get mixed up on all the time. I said, Are you the drones channel? He said, No, Miss Southern Bell, the card channel. So okay, I always get mixed up. <laughs> I know you will. Yep, that's you. Okay. I see I'm not losing my mind. I'm I'm doing pretty good. If you can remember channels, that's good. Are you still still selling jury, um, strong minds jury? Are you still selling? Are you making any? Oh, I don't make any. She usually sells him. She usually finds jury and then resells it. I wish you'd go somewhere in Canada and show us all your cool shops. <laughs> I try to get people to go shopping. Please go shopping. <laughs> Please go shopping. She said, I went shopping in Mexico. I know. I saw you. It's pretty. How much did you end up spending in that shop in Mexico? <laughs> I was like telling you how much it cost. Did you buy a lot of turquoise? What is their good? What is what is Mexico known for? They're known for their turquoise, aren't they? Their tequila. <laughs> I know, can it? Yeah, but they won't go and show us. I think that's cool. Once in a while, I'll have somebody from Canada go in their grocery store. I like to see the inside of their grocery store. Please, I want to see the meats or something because you know they got the best meat. Go in there and show the meat. <laughs> go in there and show the meat. Hey, 24 Casey, how you doing? I know you. Let's see if you're the same person I know. <coughs> yep, I know you. What you been doing, KC? 23 KC. I know you because I'm connected to you. I know you because I'm connected. I need to go over there and check you out again. Ah. You're a mod, so you can connect to everybody that's in here. Connection. This butterfly is getting tired of waiting for me to finish coloring them. <laughs> he says, hurry up, color me. Oh, 
I like a song that come out of my head sometimes, you know. These pencils are from Five Below. Uh, I think I don't, this book is from Amazon. <laughs> I don't remember. You know, first I was coloring in a Dollar Tree book. Now I'm coloring in an Amazon book. I'm just doing all the colors here. This one prints out pretty good, but I can feel that if you're not careful, there could be a big breakage, you know, on the coloring pencil. So you have to be careful and turn your pencils. Turn, turn. Turn your pencils every time you get a chance to turn them. That's what my teacher says to do. She says, turn those pencils while you got them in your hand. Movie camera, please. Movie camera. Oh, move your camera. What, am I doing something wrong? Is that better? Wolf howls at share. <laughs> share pets wolf and gives them a cookie. Now let me tell you something. Wolf, Wolf doesn't know, but not all the channels knows Wolf like I know Wolf. So, so <laughs> I shared my teacher out right, and I know Wolf. You know he's just you know Wolf. Anyway, so he comes into the teacher's channel and he says howling at the teacher, and she's like, "Oh my God." She got on to you, didn't she, Wolf? <laughs> I laughed about that. She's serious about that color, and you can't go in there hog glassing around. <laughs> Wolf says, Wolf howls at the teacher. <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> Wolf says, now, wait a minute now. <laughs> I laughed about that the whole night you came in, but you never came back in. So... She don't put up with no shenanigans. I used to have a channel come in. His name was Gloves, okay? And I knew he was completely harmless, and he was just, he was into gloves. That's what he liked. I don't remember his whole name, but he's hes hes still a mod in my channel, so he was come in. But um, anyway, he came into a channel, and it is, his first name was something. I forgot his first name, but I know he, it was Sam Gloves, Sam Gloves. And he went into another channel, and I thought they were going to block him. I said, no, no, he's fine. He's okay. He's a friend of mine. I took up for him and I said, he's completely harmless. He just likes gloves because they didn't like his name, Sam Gloves. So I said, no, you can't judge people by their name. Now the guy likes gloves. So I did a shout out for him because nobody's ever did Sam Gloves a shout out. So I took a bunch of gloves and I laid them everywhere. And I said, now these gloves are this way and these gloves are that way and this gloves are this way. This is a shout out to Sam Gloves. <laughs> that was funny. Hey, everybody's into something different. <laughs> but I, he was he was just funny guy. He was just he liked gloves. He likes the working gloves and everything. Donuts are an enlarged in danger, especially around here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, so you are eating some donuts for dinner tonight. Let's see. I don't know about that color. We better put in something to tone it down. I'll never forget Sam Gloves. Shout out to Sam Gloves. <laughs> 
You don't even have to be here. You get your special shout out. Hopefully you get your half full. I know she likes some donuts, doesn't she? She's over there teasing us with donuts. There's a place called Duck Donuts here. It's pretty good. And they make them hot off the press. You, I went in there and I'll get like... Um, the, there's just like this one donut. My sister likes it too. She likes pastries, but she likes those daggum muffins. I'm so sick of hearing her say, will you get me a muffin? I'm like, no, don't ask me to get you a muffin. I'll say, Judy, you want anything? She'll say, can you get me a muffin? <laughs> I'm just squirting my hands. Can we you eat something different? <laughs> no, I want my muffin. I was like, okay. I know she's going to say muffins anyway. I, there went paper falling on the floor. That's the ghost in here with me. It's a coloring ghost. It's a coloring ghost. <laughs> Thank you, Wolf Wolf. I appreciate it. Hey, Wolf Wolf, I shouted you out earlier and showed the Wolf Wolves. Didn't I, guys? I shouted Wolf Wolf out. So shout out to Wolf Wolf. Wherever he might be. He said, my ears were burning. I had my Wolf Wolf ears up. <laughs> I don't know what colors. I'm going to have to go with this one. I put this one in. That might be what's. Oh, I did put this one in. Okay. Maybe it needs to be here, too. Now, this is not the proper way to color. <laughs> I'm showing you the improper way of coloring. <laughs> I'm just doing it. And so, and Bell is showing you the improper way of coloring, so don't do this. I'm just doing it because I'm doing it the wrong way. I'm showing you not to do this the right way. The teacher would tickle me. She says, now, are y'all... Turning your pencils. I'm like, no, I'm just getting this stuff done so I can go to bed tonight. I'm thinking. I said, I'm glad she can't hear me talking while I'm over here. I said, because she'd say, Miss Southern Bell, are you trying to get your stuff done so you can go to bed? <laughs> yes, teacher, of course. Everybody's like stressed out from coloring from here. Now, y'all don't need to. Worry about doing, do, don't get stressed out about it, but you better be doing it right. <laughs> like, holy cow. But I don't argue with her. I mean, she has one where everybody wanted a different color um, dress. And I said, I ain't arguing with her because one time I argued with a teacher and I did what I wanted to do and I made it worse because it looked horrible. So I know there's always the, you know, it's, your way, their way, and it will probably look better if you did it their way. But sometimes I've noticed if I do stuff my way, it don't look that good. So if I do it the way the teacher says to do it, it looks good. But you know, you older and you want to, you know, when you at the age, I'm 68. When you're at the age 68, you are your own individual and you want to do it your way. But if you do do it your way, and you don't have the vision of the colors, you can really mess it up. So you have to do it their way. So just remember that, you know, you may not like what the teacher's doing, but do it their way or else you're going to have a hot mess. And, of course, you like the other color, and you don't get why she's telling you to do it that way, but just do it. <laughs> just trust me on that one just do it because you'll end up with a boo-boo 
I mean, I've done that before. I went my way and I said, oh, Lordy, look what that. The teacher says, I told you so. But you got to listen to those teachers, even though you think your way is better. You know. I was Googling something today, just out of my own curiosity, because I'm a curious person. Because we were talking, me and this friend of mine, Scott, Goad, and I talk a lot. And I said, I wonder if there's a high quality and a low quality diamond paintings. Because I've seen diamond paintings where they don't look the same. Is there one that's not as high quality looking to y'all? There, and then I Googled it, so it was called Diamond Dots. Have y'all ever heard of that? Diamond Dots. I'm just wondering, you know, there is quality in everything, but I never really thought about that until I looked at different diamond paintings. I know a lot of people at Diamond Paint. I thought about it, but I don't know. But there's different qualities, and I never knew that there would be Diamond dots, and then there's diamond something. Anyway, I just wonder if y'all have ever heard of uh, diamond paintings with lower quality or higher quality. I mean, there's some that sparkle more than the other, you know. So I know about stones. You've seen people do it. Yeah, they do look amazing, but some of them... I looked at one and I looked at another, and they're not the same picture, of course. But they're diamond dots, and they're they're like they look like cross stitching. Hey, Jersey Gypsy, you know what I'm talking about? You know, there's some that look really sparkly and pretty, but the diamond dots don't look as sparkly. They look more like a crochet, like you see on a table. I don't know how to explain it. But do y'all understand what I'm saying? Okay, let's say you go to the jewelry store and you're looking for a ring. There's high-quality diamonds and there's low-quality. Have you ever looked at... Okay, let's look at cat's eye. <clears throat> now, that's a stone called cat's eye. Now, I know strong mind juries, you know about cat's eyes. There's a high quality and there's a low quality cat's eye. And you can tell it. You can tell if it's low quality because it does not have any kick to it. I mean, you can tell high quality cat's eye because when you put that cat's eye in the light, it does not shine. It has nothing hardly. But you put the high quality in there. Woo! Boy, you talk about a beautiful stone right there. Yeah, yeah. So I wonder if that's the same thing as with the, those, uh, you know, those diamond paintings. I wonder if there's high quality and low quality diamonds in the diamond paintings. Because I see some of them that are just kick them rear end and they're beautiful. And some are as dull as they can come. So I don't know if it's just, you know, there's different kinds or what do y'all think? Somebody Google and see what, if there is a low-quality diamond painting pictures. I mean, is there a high-quality, low-quality? A, B, A, C. I also think we can put some glaze over the ones and finish it blue. Yeah. Well, that's just like coloring pencils. You got your high-quality. You got your low-quality. You know, there's some that don't put out, you know, as much color. And then there's some that just really are just wonderful. You're just like, wow, look at that one. That one really is pretty. And then there's the ones that you think that would be really good, and they're terrible. You know, it's really not about the, the brand. It's about product information. Like these coloring pencils I'm doing on just this picture is $5. So it's not about the brand. It's about what they put inside these little guys, you know, at the time. And some of them are good. Some of them ain't good. 
That's why I'm doing this. I'm doing this so you guys can see the products. You know, I've had the best, and it was horrible, you know. Worst I've ever seen. And then I've had the, the ones that are cheap, and they were great, you know. I told my sister, I said, you know, these coloring pencils do get old and dry out. So I'm getting me a book to put these over here. It's in this box in a book. So I bought me one of them notebooks that you can get. It holds a thousand pencils. Now I do have probably more than a thousand, but I want to put them in a book because I'm afraid they're going to dry out, you know. Because I think those other ones we bought, those King Arts, I think they're dried out. I'm going to try them on some different kinds of paper. For some reason, see how this one's doing? This one's not that good. Now, if I kind of give it a kick, sharpen a little bit, I might push it a little bit. See how it's not, you know, it's not that great. You know, see it? It's not putting out. It's a terrible pencil. But some of them will be good. This one's okie dokie, but I wouldn't say it's the best. Now, this one right here, if you look at them, sometimes they feel a little bit better than the other one. I don't know. I'm just saying this one feels this one feels like it's a soft cord, and that other one felt like it wasn't a soft cord. So I just think they just throw anything in these little things, and it's just like you're lucky if you get anything that works. I mean, $5, I think this pencil's did pretty good. What do you think, guys? I did buy Amazon pencils. They're in here somewhere. Yeah, there's Amazon. There's Castles. I'll do the Amazons next time. I'll let y'all see the Amazons brand. Oh, Lord, don't make those Amazon people mad. They'll break, take their time bringing my coloring book to me. <laughs> I do have Amazon, too. This is the... Five below brand, which isn't too bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go over this black with this one. Then I'll show you the Amazon brand. I bet y'all be shocked to know that I have many pencils. Well, you wouldn't be shocked. I haven't even done these yet. I open them and show them, but did I do any of this? No. Why well, is You got so many pencils, you're going to go into pencil. Okay, you see these? I got these. <laughs> and I got these. And these are the Amazon brand, guys. Look at those. And one's, I guess one got flown over here. One's be, two of them's being used. Maybe a third one got out too. But these are the Amazon. These are pretty nice. I might have, one might have jumped in with the other guys. Because there was one probably sitting in here. And then there was one sitting in here. I said, I ain't going looking for that pencil. Okay, this is, this one right here. Amazon wasn't too bad in price, but they have their own. So, look at their greens and their browns. And they got gold and silver and black. Okay, they got quite a few in here. I don't think they're just two trays. I'm pulling out all of this for y'all. <laughs> Now, this one's 72 pencils. Amazon, I don't think it costs that much. And then this one right here is 120 pencils. I don't remember what everything costs. But all this stuff comes off of Amazon. And this is supposed to be just as good as that. That one starts with a K. Which I had that one down there on the floor. And these are nicely packed. I haven't even tried these yet. So maybe I'll try these next. These are really, these are delicious pencils. Don't they look delicious? And they have, the best part about these are, I said this, is they, they pull out easy, see? They have these little strap on them. So, I haven't used these yet either. 
I said, what are you waiting for? I'm going to have a coloring party one day. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So these, let me put all this stuff in here. These come with the books and everything talks about each. And then you get a little coloring chart for you. So it talks about everything. So I have all of them. I just, I do different brands at different times. I'm going to call this my brand week. Because last time I did, yes, last night I did the ones on Scott's Live. And I did the, uh, I even put it on my community post, the brand I used. I used, I've done this one. Y'all seen this one, remember? That one is the, this one is the woodless casting. And then I did this one, which everybody got excited about, because it's called the Black Widow. And this was told to me it was really great pencils. So let's see. These don't have any red. We were all crying about that. This one has the pencils named. Okay, these pencils have got names. So they have really interesting names. So I'm going to pull one up and give you an idea. This one right here. This one's called Medium Gray. Well, that one's not got a weird name. This one's probably got some of them got some weird names. That one's called Poison. So I did these already, and I did it. Let's see, we got Davy Blue, Echo Plant, Eggplant, just stuff like that. And the one of them is really pink, but no red, guys. There's no red in this one. These are all pastel, so feast your eyes. No red, no deep red. So, and these weren't, you know, these are supposed to be supposed to be the big stuff you know the high quality stuff and I did do a picture and I put it on I put it on the uh, post so the pencils I'm using now are these and these come from five below you might see these pencils on uh, Amazon I don't know but that's what I'm doing. I'm doing a brand. I do brand testing here. Yeah, they have pink, Bear Hug. We know you like pink. Oh, let me show you some pink. Bear Hug likes pink. Everybody feast your eyes on this pink stuff I got. Oh, I got to stand up anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm all over. Man, when you sit a long time, it's rough. Look at that. What do you think that is, Bear Hug? <laughs> okay. Oh, there was, Bear Hug was told to me. Everybody told me that Bear Hug, somebody told me that Bear Hug liked pink. So I saw this. And I know you like pink. Okay. And, oh, wow, she says, then I saw this. Because it's light pink. Okay, maybe you can see it from the box. But there's some other pink laying around in here. But I haven't put it together, so I was going to let you look at some pink stuff. Because we know Bear Hug likes the pink. Don't we share? Maybe it's in here. I don't know. It could be in here. Maybe it's in this bag right here. I don't know. There might not be nothing in this bag. Oh. I don't know what this is. That's just a ring. I got that a long time ago. I don't know who I got that for. And there's something else that goes with it to clean it, I guess. <laughs> you're still here where you've been hiding back backyard so I've got a lot of jewelry in here I just have to they're going to do a lot of giveaways when that July you know when they, we do the July uh, Halloween in July that pink's going to be in there, there I think this is in there too yeah this is probably going to be in that July giveaway too I haven't showed everything. 
but that's going to be a lot of stuff is over here. Now I got a pink bear. I'm looking for something that's got your name on it and your personality, bear hug. I'm very picky about what I give to people. Probably more pickier than you to get it. So... And I don't even have to watch your channel. Sherry tells me everything about you. So she tells me things about you, and I kind of get a feel for you, you know. That's how I, I shop by personalities and their channels. I go and I watch your channel. I watch KK's too. KK likes music. So KK, I have something for her in here, and I haven't even got hers out but she ain't in here. She's gone to sleep, so I could show y'all what I got KK. But I'm going to get her something else because this is something for her. Her birthday's coming up. Oh, KK's birthday's in July. See, I'm always ahead. I've even got um, Angie's present already. One of them. One of them I'm waiting to see if I can get. Well, look, I want to show you. Some more stuff are floating around this whole room. You wouldn't believe the stuff that's in this room. That's why I don't want anybody to come in here cleaning. I just got lots of stuff. Okay, this is for KK. Now, KK, she likes to drink stuff out of a glass. And she and I got her these records, this coaster holder. And it's of records. I should get a kick out of this. And this is what I got KK. It's a coaster holder. It holds Rick. And then when she, people come over, she can kind of like, say, hold on, let me get you a coaster. And she puts it down. They put the drink on this. This is what I got KK. See, it's like a little coaster holder. So that's a perfect gift for her. But see, she's, I've never gotten her anything that fit her. Per I usually try to find things that fit KK's personality. And I know she loves music. So this is one of the things I got her. So I try to look for things that fit people's personality. Well, you know, you got to find things that fit people's personality, bear hug. You know what's funny? I have this friend. <laughs> he was he was feeling bad, but he's in my art class, too. And somebody says, and I didn't know it, but I just wanted to wave at him a bear. So I waved a bear at him. It was somebody coming into the class. And welcome into the class. It, it was me waving at some new person in my class. I'm like, okay, that was probably a strange thing to do. But, man, I didn't say anything. I, I didn't change it or anything. I just, everybody knows I'm a weirdo anyway. So, anyway, I can't get back in the box. See, that's why you don't ever, ever remove anything out of the box. But anyway, that's what I'm going to give her. She loves stuff like that. And I saw it. I'm going to have something. Sometimes I have stuff custom made for people. You know, to, like, you know, you like pink and you like bears. You know. I have quite a few bears around here. But you never know, bear hug. You might get something custom made. I custom make stuff for people, too. So, we got to finish this butterfly. We ain't never going to get this butterfly finished. Okay, we need a color there. Let's, let's see. I give, it, give it that color. Yeah, all the records are different. You know, I've, I've had um, I've had KK some custom stuff made. She has the pills that she lays on. I had Betty Boop done, and I had put her name on it, and I had um, 
some custom made stuff done for Angie. It takes a while to get those custom made. Like Angie put something on Facebook, one of these owls that she thought was so pretty, and she kept talking about the owl. So I took the owl and I put her name on that, like on a pillow. And so I custom made her a pillow with her name on it and took the owl out of that picture and put it on a pillow and put her name across it, you know, because she loves those owls, you know. So we know you like pink, so I was thinking maybe if I could paint, make one of these pink, one of these bears right here, one of these gummy bears pink, maybe custom make, take, make all these different colors of pink or something, or some, one of these bears pink, and do it like a pink thingy for you, bear hug, and take it, like make this one pink, this one dark pink, and this one light pink, and this one a different kind of pink, or make all of them pink, and then do your Put bear hug on that and make a pillow, a pillow cover. Wouldn't that be cool? It looks like some of them were turned upside down being eaten. This is called the gummy bear. I saw this. This girl she said this is a fun color, but I had to get it. So, so this one came off of Amazon too. No, those look like red. Now those are real gummy bears right there. They're all gummy bears, but that one looked like it was a castle gummy bear. Yeah. Hey, I could show you my teacher's coloring book. She ain't ever gonna come in here anyway. All right, here's Irene. <laughs> I'll do the end of the video. <laughs> I won't say I'm doing it on the video though. All right, guys. Okay, let me finish this butterfly, and I'll flip through Irene Vick's coloring book and let y'all see. The teacher's class, I, she has her own coloring book. So, I watch a lot of people do flip throughs, but this one guy, he used to do them all the time. And he made me spend way too much money. I had to quit watching him. <laughs> he was, he had some books. I said, oh, wow, I would get that one. No, I got it. And him, no, I better not. I'm not watching you no more. And he says, why? And I said, I'm spending way too much money because all you do is flip throughs. And he's one time he put a few pictures colored. I said, thank you. I was going to, I'm getting weak at the knees. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I'm probably still subscribed to that guy. There was one guy, he would do cutouts. Oh, my God. And he had a cat. You know I love cats. I would just watch the cat and once in a while give him a comment on his cutout. But I really wanted to just watch the cat. I like animals, and the cat was having fun. He said, what do you think of my picture, Miss Southern Bell? I said, oh, you want me to talk to you? Okay. <laughs> I said, it look good. He said, you ain't even watching me. You're watching my kitty cat. And I said, yeah. <laughs> He said, I know, I love my cat. That was so funny. Miss Southern Bell, you ain't even watching me. You're watching my kitty cock. Sorry, guy. Okay, I'm done with this picture. I'm going to do, do some, I might do some other stuff to the outline. I'm going to call that one. That's, that's the, this is the crowns from the five below. And that's the colors that it puts out. Y'all see y'all see any other colors you think I should show y'all? What do y'all think of these crowns or pencils? You think they were worth five dollars? Put a one in the chat. Now I'm gonna explain something so you get a not just that, you get a pencil sharpener and you get this eraser, so you can erase. You can't erase things with these erasers, but I ain't gonna do it. But you can. I have some already. I've done it with. And this is the uh, pencil that comes with it. This looks like a real pencil. Yeah, that's a real pencil. And um, you get the pencil sharpener, and you get all that for five smackaroos. And it comes in a nice metal box, so they won't get dried out. And that is what you'll get.
for these colors. With this here, I just hold up. Okay, here, just this is this. These are the premium colors for this picture. And this was five dollars. And this book comes from Amazon. Butterflies and flowers. And this probably cost about I don't know six ninety nine. Okay. And that's that. And that is that on that. And we're going to show you the coloring book of Ari Vix. Hi. This one is called Critters in the Jubilee. Critters in Titus, Titus Jubilee. She'd die if I did this mistake. And I'm not perfect. Sorry, lady. And I, an adult coloring book. Watch it come through. Hey, Cyclone Stacker, how you doing? This one has 50 pictures, delightful grayscale imagines to color and enjoy by colorist Eileen Vick. And the cover is by Moggy Russell. Let's open this jewel up. I'm going to bring it down so y'all can focus only on the coloring book. And I got this from Amazon for $10.59, I think. This book is done by a lady who is a teacher. She teaches three hours at night. She's a grayscale colors teacher, Eileen Vick. I could put her link in the description so you guys can check her out. Let me do that real quick. Okay, here's her link. This is her link right here. And let's see if I can, whoops, that's what I'm going to do right there. And then I'm going to pin mine. So this is the person I'm doing the book flip through. All right, here we go. She's got quite a few coloring books. She's already done a picture. This was one of the pictures she did in the class. If you're on her Facebook, you get a free picture and you just go, well, free as means you, you get the free picture. You don't have to pay a dollar forty nine. Let's get through it. And she talks about her book on, on the side here. So on this side, she talks about her coloring book and I had that she's on YouTube. So and let's get started. She's on Facebook. She's in Facebook. So here's one of the pictures that she did. I think that's really cute. This alligator with ballerina slippers on and a tutu and a little ribbon. Oh, isn't that cute right there? It's an ant. Remember your aunt used to dress like this? Wait a minute. I don't know what I was doing. Prayers for KK. Yeah, she she's going to the doctor tomorrow. Definitely pray for KK. Hey, Sheena. And here's a snake with the tutu around the bottom and a bow in the hair. And I pinned the name. Her name has been pinned. She, she's the teacher of this coloring book. She's a colorist. And she'll teach you how to color. And here's, would you say this is a bumblebee? Kind of looks like a, what do you think, guys? It's kind of like a ladybug. Could be a bumblebee. It looks kind of fuzzy and mean, but kind of, kind of what do you think, guys? Is that a bumblebee? It is adorable, isn't it? And this is, uh, I put the ladies' channel up. It's been pinned. She does, uh, this is her coloring book. So she, she's the colorist and she sells these coloring books. Oh, isn't that cute right there? Look at that little face. It's cute. If 
you want to learn how to color grayscale, you can go check out our class. You go, it's free at night for three hours. No, I didn't go tonight. I did do I did do this one. I don't have this book. This book isn't out yet, but it's the pending. So I did this one. This is one of our classes you do a duet. So just to let you know. She did do this one. That was the free one. If you're in the Facebook class, you can get it free, but you have to go get it printed out. Look at that little picture right there. Isn't that cute? What color would you call? I would make this bird like a, a blue bird, kind of like a brown belly with blue. And make the tutu maybe like a greenish blue. Oh, look at the monkey. That's cute. Now I really like that. And these can be colored. Sometimes when you think you can't color them, sometimes you can take some white and you don't want it to be dark there. You can just kind of see how it got whiter, you know. So you can make it a little lighter so you can go in there, you know, later on and color it. So you can, I always do that, you know, that's my, what I do. But you can like go where it's the darkest. I usually go where it's the darkest and make it lighter. Like if I don't want it dark somewhere, like down below the leg or something, I want to lighten it up. Like like let's say I don't like that tail so dark, I might go in here and go like this and make it a little lighter. You know, kind of. And I know I'm doing this because you can see where the white lightens it, and so I can just go in there and just kind of make it a different color. Yeah, so you don't have to, you know, there's always a way to lighten it up. So, thank you. Isn't that cute right there? That's just like any picture you see, you can lighten it up. You can say, I don't want this to be that dark down here. So I'm going to lighten it up with that white. There's anywhere you want to find it, but you can't. I'm, I'm going to tell you, you'll have to go over it with another color. It won't be solid white, but at least you won't be so dead gum dark. You can't get it a color you like. But don't tell her that's what I've been doing. <laughs> like I've been fighting with that one over there where it's dark. I'll say, hey, I don't want that dark, but I'm going to make it white first and then go over it. And, and this one cute right here. That's adorable. This is a little skinny old thing, actually. That's cute. They look like little stuffed animals, don't they? That's really cute right there. No, oh, that's funny. Could you imagine kissing that thing? Well, that one's really adorable. Oh. This is reminds me of Life of Ron's bird, <laughs> Chi Chi. And uh, the Scott Goat experience always says, can you get Chi-Chi with some shoes on it? Look. Ah, she did color this just to aggravate them. No, I'm just kidding. And then she snuck a gnomes in here. How cute is that? And she snuck a little girl in there, a little gnomes girl. That is really cute, isn't it? Oh, there's a little dragon. That's adorable. Oh, look at her. That's like if you don't want this hair to be so dark, 
like I say, you can go in here and make her a little white hair, you know, make a little white. And you can go in there and make her hair a different color if you want to. Aww. Aww. She's cute. The turtle. <laughs> That's cute. It's adorable. Look at this frog. And that's the show business for all right there. Hey, Chuck, how you doing? Sheena, did you have a good sale today? How was your sale? Did you do good? I hope so. Hope you had a great, I hope you did good, and I hope you have a good Easter this coming Easter weekend. Let me get that hand on that picture. Oh, my gosh, you guys. <laughs> And this looks like a tick. Oh, my Lord. Look at that. Is that a tick or a roach? Oh, God. It's a bug. My sister would love to do that picture. Oh, I'm sure. She'd be screaming the whole time. She'd do, that's a roach. And it rained. <laughs> There's a ladybug in that queue. Oh. And this is the picture. It's on the front of the book. I think it's a test to see if I can turn the books. Can you turn? Oops. Oh, that's cute. Okay. I think that's the last one. Maybe. I never know. Sometimes these books can trick you. And I think her books are like really... Yep, that's the last one, and that's the back of it. Hope everybody's having a good night connecting to each other. And this is the name of the book. And the person who, uh, the colorist of the book is the one that's pinned on my channel. She does the classes three hours at a night. She starts at um, Eastern time, 8 o'clock. I'm going to just say 8 o'clock. Probably 8.05, probably. She sometimes gets late, too. So I say 8.10 to make sure you, you get there. I'm sorry, guy. Well, I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> Am I putting y'all to sleep, too? Wasn't that relaxing, though? Look, flip it through. And this is Miss Southern Belle. Finished up her book here. I did two pictures tonight. I did a flip through. And this book I got off of. All these books come off of Amazon, these two. I did that picture. And these pencils came from Five Below. And we were going to do Barbie, but somebody said no B, so I didn't do Barbie. <laughs> I did a coloring book. I can't find that coloring book. It's incognita. Well, it's somewhere around in here. Anyway, uh, I am done for the night. This is Miss Southern Bill saying good night. I hope you guys enjoyed my flip through and my coloring. And I hope you, you know, thought about those pencils. And I'll uh, call it a night. Don't forget to keep your faith as a must seed and go out there and check out some products and tell me what you think about coloring pencils or coloring books or whatever and uh what's your thoughts and everything good night good night guys don't forget to keep your faith as a mercy and remember don't let anybody get you down because you are a beautiful person and everybody oh look it up my back wall everybody is good good night good night share good night bear hug Good night, Cyclone. Good night, Chug. Good night, Sheena. And thank you all for coming. And who I haven't said good night to, thank you all. And mwah, good night. <laughs> Remember, mwah, good night.